from the Delhi studios of Republic TV. It's time for the debate. Arnab Goswami on the debate at 10, powered by Reva University, Quick Heel Secrite, Policy Bazaar, co powered by Dark Editions by Tata Motors. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's time now for the nation's sharpest opinion. Now, the thing about sexism, like corruption, is that there are no grays. You cannot come out with a haphazard excuse to defend a publicly made disgusting sexist remark about a woman and then slither away and endorse it through collective silence. Ladies and gentlemen, that's exactly what the Vadra Congress and the Vadra Gandhi family seem to be doing. For decades, the Congress party has tried to own the space of women in politics presented and positioned themselves politically as the owners and beacons of hope for women in Indian politics just because Indira Gandhi became Prime Minister and Sonia Gandhi became Congress President. So they said because people from the Vadra Gandhi family and women from the Vadra Gandhi family have reached certain positions because of their family name, women of India have become empowered. Ridiculous. Now that very party is essentially shrugging its shoulders. When its own spokesperson, Supriya Srinathi, has essentially said that Kangana Ranaut's Lok Sabha ticket is a byproduct of a prevailing rate card, the reference should be lost on no one, ladies and gentlemen. The disdain for an outsider who has earned a name for herself and is ready to slug it out in a political career from the ground is not something I expect Priyanka, Vadra and Rahul Gandhi to understand because Kangana neither has the luxury of being gifted constituencies as heirlooms nor is she handed the purse strings of a political party by way of following a certain bloodline. So irrespective of the political eventually, eventually what shines through today is the Congress-led endorsement of Supriya Srinathe's comment. Viewers, the most important thing is that the Congress party is endorsing the disgusting comment of Supriya Srinathe. Not one tweet, not one statement, not even a line. Ladies and gentlemen, the same silence that they had when Sanjay Nirupam attacks Smriti Irani. You almost begin to believe the Congress party is enjoying this disgusting sexist attack on women achievers from its political opponents. So I believe therefore that the lack of a response single-handedly tells you of the scale of indifference in the ivory towers of that one family of the Congress. The fancy dress competition and the occasional feel-gooder venting on women's issues at press conference that only a cabal of journalists are allowed into is what the Congress party has been reduced to. And my view, my view is that the Congress party has given Kangana a head start into her political career and the Monday campaign by endorsing this disgusting and filthy comment of Supriya Srinathe through its continued silence. That is my view. What's yours? Let's debate. A day after Congress resorted to raid card slur on Kangana Ranaut, the grand old party went all out to promote Kangana's old video calling actor Urmila Matonkar a porn star. Supriya Srinath, on the other hand, was asked to lie low. Been taken against the person who hacked your account? I have written to the platforms and I don't answer arbitrary people. I don't know you, I have no idea who you are. But as a journalist, I'm only asking you that what took you so long to delete the comment? No, I didn't take any long at all. As soon as I saw it, I deleted it. For hours, the comment was, the statements was on social media handle. No, 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 no not at all. As Kangana transitions from real to real life Thalaivi, she was quick to silence the opposition. Kisi bhi mahila ko apmanit karna, 
उसके आई मीन यू नो सेक्शुअलाइज करना और खासकर सबसे ज़्यादा जो मुझे दुख हुआ है वो जो मंडी जिसे छोटा काशी कहा जाता है पूरे विश्व में छोटे काशी के नाम से प्रसिद्ध है जहाँ पे ऋषि पराशर से लेकर ऋषि मार्कंडेय जी ने तपस्या की है उसके बारे में इतनी भद्दी टिप्पणी तो हम सब मंडीवासी जो हैं वो बहुत ही कष्ट हमें हुआ है कितना गंदा और कितनी गंदी इनकी विचारधारा है और कैसी वो लेडीज है जिसने की इतनी गंदी बात कह दी एक बेटी को जो कि अभी हमारी यहाँ मंडी हिमाचल प्रदेश की जो जितना भी जनता है वो बहुत इस बात से नाराज है और कभी भी ये ऐसी टिप्पणी तो किसी भी पार्टी को महिला के प्रति बिल्कुल भी नहीं करनी चाहिए The National Women's Body has filed a complaint with the Election Commission. Denying will not solve a problem. We have said uh, Election Commission because it is uh, now code of conduct. Uh, so Election Commission uh, is in charge of everything. We are requesting Election Commission to take action against both of them. While Congress top brass maintains a deafening silence, caught on back foot, several indie leaders towed the egalitarian line. ने कहा मना किया हिमाचल की बेटी है हिमाचल में उनके माता पिता रहते हैं उनके पिताजी जिला मंडी में उन्हें हमने कांग्रेस कमेटी का जनरल सेक्रेटरी बनाया था तो हिमाचल की बेटी है देखिए किसी भी किसी भी महिला के बारे में इस तरीके का कमेंट करना बहुत दुर्भाग्य काबिल इतराजी Why the Congress High Command has not taken any action against its leader? Let's debate. So the Congress party has gone into a shell. They're quiet about it. Uh, what do you think? uh sanju does this amount to an endorsement because they can also say that we are not endorsing it uh rashmi samant is on the debate renu mattal is on the debate bhavna ramanna who backs the congress actor and political analyst is on the debate my first question is to sanju does this amount to an endorsement of the disgusting comment that supriya shrinathe made you know or no uh, i've been on a couple of debates post supriya shrinath's disgusting comment and needless to add uh you know uh, there's been no apology coming from uh, supriya's end or from the congress top brass uh, and for supriya to brazenly say that it was not she but somebody from a social media team who did the needful uh, i think that is as brazen as you can get and if you notice rahul gandhi who has an opinion on just about everything under the sun priyanka wadra who was screaming ladki hu lad sakti hu during the 2022 assembly polls during hathras you know she broke police barricades Uh, to become the so called beacon of women empowerment i want to ask priyanka gandhi wadra i want to ask sonia gandhi i want to ask rahul gandhi who just finished a yatra saying main nafrat ke bazar mein mohabbat ki dukaan kholne aaya hu is this your version of mohabbat ki dukaan where you deride you demean you undermine the credibility of a self made woman called kangana runaut and that has been done by the chair person of your social media team your national spokesperson supriya shrinath she said this not in her individual capacity she said this in her official capacity representing the congress and the congress party so clearly there is no apology forthcoming and as they say once is happen stands twice is coincidence third time is enemy action and for supriya shrinath the habitual repeat offender to blatantly lie i think that is as low as it can get in terms of public discourse especially one woman demeaning the other i think that is what and the most unfortunate part is i i i just like to uh, you know get in renu into this debate and i request all of us to hear each other uh, you know the the sense one is getting here renu is that the vadra gandhi believes that any woman who is not from the vadra family the vadra gandhi family can be sexualized any woman who is not from the vadra gandhi family can be sexualized objective uh, uh, you know uh, undermined uh, can be attacked personally 
that these disgusting comments can be made to any woman who is not from the Gandhi Vadra family. They've set a clear line of separation here. Because if any comment were to be made, and it shouldn't be made on any woman I from think, the Gadra Gandhi Vadra family, yeah. you know, they would bring the house down. So I think this is so unfortunate. I think particularly Absolutely. this has happened after Rahul Gandhi kept saying a week or so back, he said, Aishwarya Rai Nachte Hue Dikhengi in the context of Pran Pratishtha. So Aishwarya Rai Nachte Hue Dikhengi Aapko Ram Mandir Mein. And then he says, Congress party shakti ki virodhi hai, shakti ke khilaaf hai, shakti ko ladenge. Can I just say something? And K.R. Ramesh Kumar, a Congress leader said, Congress leader said, the former speaker of the Karnataka Assembly said, when rape is inevitable, lie down and enjoy it. I'm just saying these are words. We don't forget these words. No, no, nor should we. We should not. Uh, we should not forget <coughs> words which hurt other people. Politics is now gone to an all-time low. I think that Kangana Ranaut is well within her rights to contest from her home state or wherever it is she wants in the in the country. Uh, she wants to contest from Mandi. It was very clear from uh, for quite some time that that she would be brought in and that she would be a candidate. And I think that she has every right to contest. Now that's one part of the story. The second part of the story is this very unfortunate uh, controversy which has come up, which, uh, which uh, revolves around this Congress spokesperson. Now, she has made it very clear and she has deleted that post. She has made it very clear that uh, she never did it. She is saying, I would never make any comments against a woman. I think that we should take, it, take her at her word. She has, she has gone. She is saying, I am going to find out who is the one who used my handle. There were some people and I, I would like to find out who has done this. And then we can, you know, take it forward from there. The point is that for every comment made, good, bad, it's in I, did very you see bad the, case. Did you see, one because minute, one minute. Uh, Renu, 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 one minute. I'll, Renu, I'll just, I'll Renu, I, 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 think, I think in that news package said, we just you, ran, you allow me one minute, out. I'm just intervening you. I'm just intervening right now to ask you a counter. Uh, yeah. In that news package we just ran, yeah. we saw a reporter, Harsha, ask a question to this Congress spokesperson and let me tell you, Rashmi, if you heard it, there was not a single tone of apology. There was an act of brazenness. Who says it's a big deal? I hardly ran it. Who I says think, it was I there for a big hour? More than a few just, hours. Nothing happened. Just, the, there just, was a no big deal finish. kind of attitude. Okay, I'm sorry. No. I'm sorry. No, 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 I think she's being protected here no, because... No, no, no. Okay, let me I ask have, you, Renu. Let me ask you, Renu. I let me ask that, you, Renu. No, one minute, one minute, one minute, one minute, one minute, one minute. I have Bhavna, I have Bhavna Ramana on the debate. Yeah. Bhavna, Bhavna, one minute, one minute. Bhavna, Bhavna, yeah. Bhavna. Can I, can I finish I my point? Arnab, now that you have called me to speak, I'd like to make a point. Let me ask Bhavna a question. No, 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 no. Let me, allow me to, allow me to ask her a question. I'm coming back to you. Renu, Renu, you'll never finish. You'll never finish, Renu. She wasn't forthcoming on... Yeah, I, one minute. Can I get her on the screen? I'm not cutting her out. One minute. Uh, uh, listen, listen, listen. Is it, is it, is it, is it in Renu, good case for a man Renu, to make a comment Renu, on a chief minister? Renu, a sitting Renu, elected chief Renu, minister? I'm saying Renu, all such comments are in bad taste, including what they leave. You are not mentioning him. I wish you would mention him also and what he's been talking about and what he's been saying. Politics has come down to an all-time low. You guys are well, making, okay. so, uh, you know, so I, I, I would, I would say BJP very clearly. One minute, one minute, one minute, one minute, one minute, one minute, one minute. Dilip Ghosh's comments are also unfortunate. Now I'm, now I'm first. asking Bhavna. I am asking Bhavna one question. Yes, very unfortunate. Listen, listen. listen. Who it's is, not who a is, fuss. Who is Mamta? Who yeah, is one Mamta minute. Can I now, Renu? I, Renu, I heard you. Now I can keep interrupting you. I can speak, keep speaking over you. I can, I can keep interrupting you. Let Sanju answer. That's okay. Let Sanju answer that. Thank you. Sanju, you Sanju, know, yes. Sanju, it has become your insult versus my insult. Yeah, exactly. So you that know, question Arnab. is for you to defend. Dilip no, Ghosh's comments no, no, on Mamta Banerjee. It's everybody's Arnab, I did not heckle Renu. Renu. What is this? Renu, did I even once interject you? Can I please finish? Then you can rebut me. Thank you. No, no. Yes. Please, yes, please, you are heckling. Please. Yes. Let's yes, not. Yes, the debate is not about you or me. Thank you. You know, Arnab, on one point, I agree with Renu for a change. I completely disown Dilip Ghosh's statement. 
आई थिंक वॉट इज सेट वॉज एब्सोल्यूटली अनपार्डनेबल वॉज अनकॉल्ड फॉर और जो हिंदी में कहावत है ना उड़ता तीर अपने ऊपर ले लेना बट बी दट एज इट में वॉट एक्चुअली कंप्लीटली इज समथिंग दट एम फ्लमोक्सड बाय इज द फैक्ट दट आई एज द नेशनल स्पोर्ट्स पर्सन ऑफ बीजेपी हैव नो क्वाम्स saying that yes what dilip ghosh said was wrong i've been on a zillion debates and i've said there is a 1100 page charge sheet against bridgebhushan sharan singh whose name inevitably crops up on these kind of debates i've said if he's found guilty by the courts let him be hanged by the noose i'm willing to say what happened with bilkis bano was wrong what i'm not able to understand what i'm not able to fathom what is absolutely inexplicable is the fact that the cabal which wants us to condemn bridgebhushan which wants us to condemn dilip ghosh which wants us to condemn hathras and unnav you are the same lot that does not condemn sandesh khali you are the same lot that does not condemn shahjahan sheikh you are the same lot that does not condemn digvijay singh for calling minakshi natarajan chand panch mal you are the same lot that does not condemn kamal nath for calling a dalit uh, woman imarti devi a senior leader of bjp madhya pradesh as badhiya mal so what i am against is and what i am appalled by is the hypocrisy from the other side why is today sagarika ghosh quiet at what supriya shrinath has done why is today swati chaturvedi quiet why is today a youtuber called uh, you know uh, rohini singh uh, quiet this is the same kabal which basically goes berserk and you know hyperventilates jab bjp ki taraf se itna bhi kuch ho jata hai this is not about your abuse versus my abuse your allegation versus versus my allegation but this is the same mamta banerjee let's not forget what dilip ghosh said i'm not uh, condoning it but this is the same mamta banerjee who after the hansa khari gang rape of 2022 said about a 14 year old young girl studying in class 9 oh was it a rape or was it a love affair gone wrong Or was it that the girl was pregnant and hence she made this reckless allegation? After the CBI probe, now it is proven that yes, a TMC councillor's son was the key convict in the gang rape of a 14-year-old. Ma'am, now can we, can we just come back to this topic? Is it a condemn kiya from the other side? No. So my point is, shed your hypocrisy. You ask the BJP to be accountable. Can we just come back answer. to the topic, please? But can you be accountable for a change? Can you be objective for a change? Can you be transparent for a change? संजू संजू आई लेट भावना कम इन आई विल आई विल आई विल लेट भावना कम इन आई विल लेट भावना कम इन एट दिस पॉइंट यू नो वेन वेन संजय निरुपम For her to contest from Maharashtra in one of the constituencies from Congress party, what was the comment that it which was come out from the Kangana Rana? Has she even asked for the apology? How has BJP asked for an apology? Why are they even asking for the apology from the Congress I party? And all through, all through from Mr. Rahul Gandhi, Ms. Priyanka Vadra, Ms. Sonia Gandhi, ma'am, everyone. Why is it so? And you are the first one who said Congress me Congress ke under election nahi hue, election nahi hue, election nahi hue. Now, after the election, it was Mr. Malikarjun Kharge, sir, who was the National Congress Party president. And if at all you are supposed to be asking any question, it should be addressing to him, not to any of these family people, because they don't hold any such position to be answerable to you and your questions. So basically, because Kamala Ranaut said something about Urmila Matondkar, that gives Supriya Shrinath the license to abuse Kamala Ranaut. Is that what you are trying to tell me? I'm not justifying that. I'm not even justifying that. No, I'm not justifying that. He wants an apology. Has she asked for an apology? 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 We are only talking about Rahul Gandhi. I want to talk about Rahul Gandhi. I am not going to be contested by you. I will speak what I want to say. But this is 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 what I want to say. But this
अटैक ऑन कंगना इज डीपली पर्सनल एंड अलाउ मी टू कंप्लीट माई पॉइंट हियर प्लीज लेडीज You see, I I believe there is something unique about the attack on Kangana. The attack on Kangana is not a normal attack. The silence on the attack on Kangana is also not normal. I think the dislike <laughs> and the hatred towards Kangana Ranaut is very very strong. And Bhavna, you need to understand this because you, being an actor, you should understand that if you have seen the career of Kangana Ranaut from the age of seventeen. for 20 years and the career she has made as a self-made woman having produced and directed some of the most remarkable films and you know you should know being from the uh, cinema fraternity that it is not easy to create cinema, produce no yeah well, I, well, I allow me allow me to complete i'm not drawing a comparison to you i am not i don't know why you are getting irritated when i'm talking about kangana's achievements And no what i'm saying is what i'm saying to you is what i'm saying to you is so 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 bhavna 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 you let me complete my point you'll understand the entirety of my argument what i'm what i'm arguing here tonight and i'm i'm sure you can hear me and you want to listen to me on this point and i'm i'm making a point to you that somewhere i feel please allow me bhavna please allow me bhavna let's take a moment let's calm down let us understand that i have also observed the public response to kangana from various individuals whether politicians or others i have observed it and one thing has come out to very very clearly to me that there is a deep dislike among very strong and powerful quarters towards kangana ranaut you know when her house was broken down and when the shivasena put out in a headline saying ukhad diya the entire bollywood brigade was quiet it was as if they were happy that kangana ranaut through 20 years of trying to make something of herself and achieve something produce and direct films like mani karnika which are remarkable because she does, does not follow a certain pseudo secular line happening? now see you get stay, you know the moment i start praising kangana <laughs> renu starts no. getting irritated why should <coughs> why should people like renu or bhavna no, 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 accomplished women irritated. in their own right get so angry when i praise kangana which means at some point of time there is a deep personal dislike of kangana now how dare she stand up how dare she not want to get cooperated by us how is she Better than all of us. Is How of is she person. stood apart from the Who Bollywood brigade and yet made a mark for herself? How dare she have a certain political life? How dare she have a career in politics? How dare she be an outspoken woman? Let's teach her a lesson. Let's teach her a lesson. How great she is! How noble she is! How she has suffered! Oh my dear! Oh my God! You are getting irritated. I am saying. All I am saying is Renu and Bhavna. Renu and Bhavna. Renu and Bhavna. Renu and Bhavna. You are running this program. and that your way you are doing aarti to kangana but so what is this let's call let's call a spade a spade yeah, what if you look at the look at the history of kangana he has bad mouth everybody in the industry how many friends does she really have apart from some uh, uh, very important political people what about the rest of them she she takes on everybody so it's okay you're not friends with karan johar You yeah, because you are not co-opted by Karan Johar, so you should be. How dare you not be friends with Karan Johar and yet be successful in life? No, no, no. Karan Johar is only. Karan Johar. I mean, this is crazy. You, you have to understand the country is changing. The world where she lives. No, I am not saying that. I am saying. It's okay. She has a right to contest elections. And you know what, Bhavna and Renu. Bhavna and Renu. Bhavna and Renu. I want you both. 
I want you both, please, Bhavna and Renu, don't get so irritated. I because I'll continue to praise her for a bit because I'm enjoying to see your reaction. No, no, I'm enjoying your reaction. When I'm saying that Bhavna as an actor should realize the achievements of Kangana Ranaut. Yeah, I'm not doing it. I like people. No, Renu, can you be quiet? I like people generally. No, 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 one minute, one minute. I I I like people. I like people who come from come from nothing and make something remarkable of themselves through their hard work. I identify with such people. I appreciate such people. Good for I think I think I I I did something to something something to really look up to. Oh, I'm sorry. Life but doesn't, that doesn't give you a license to say what is a red card. It doesn't go in one that doesn't exactly. give you the license to call a, a, a someone who carries a red card. That doesn't allow you. To decide the whole world for whatever they... Everybody is struggling. Everybody is trying to make a life for themselves. Is she the only one? Just because she is a great favorite of the BJP leadership okay. doesn't I'll let, I'll let Rashmi respond. I'm getting drawn into this her. debate, but okay, I'll, get, I'll get Rashmi to respond. Yeah. Yeah. Rashmi is well, not spoken yet. Rashmi, 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 Rashmi. I, I, I completely disagree with you when you say that, you know, everybody has Rashmi their own and, struggles. Rashmi I don't think Rahul Gandhi and Priyanka Vadra struggled a little much uh, or anything compared to what, uh, you know, regular women struggle in life. Their privilege, their privilege blinds them from the hardships faced by everyday women especially, you know, sex workers. Yeah. And that's why the comment is even more demeaning because they think it is something that can be belittled. Something that, you know, th th that's, that women go it's through like in this a, country. It's like a parrot repeating that what whatever the BJP I think that out itself as, as the shows the kind the of day. privilege and this has been the leadership for the of Congress last three, is four days, sort of you know? encased in. That this being said, I think another, another, another point, please, I respect you. Can you please, can you please, can you please, can you please we pause for a second election. and let me complete? Let's discuss Can election issues. Can you please let me complete? Can you please let me complete? I did not have to. But we are going on I'm just discussing making another point. how great she is. The main oh my difference God. here is that the Congress leadership yeah, in the point. past couple of weeks has made demeaning comments about yeah. women. Why get into uh, leadership? A woman Congress, a congresswoman, happens, the, a former congresswoman, Aditi Singh, and say why have they made a comment? Why, why, why doesn't Prime Minister Modi make a comment on? Renu, let her speak. No, Renu, 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 Renu. Now, 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 Renu, this is not right. Rashmi did not say a word when you were speaking. You listen to her. No, no, you will let her finish because this. I don't want this. Please, thank you. Only Babu and Rashmi. What is this obsession? What is going shows on? The kind of attitude that said, the Congress leadership has. Rahul Gandhi, when he called, uh, when he belittled Aishwarya Rai Bachchan, and Priyanka Wadra, when he asked the husband uh, of Aditi Singh to assassinate her character in order to secure a Congress ticket in Punjab. So this shows the kind of, you know, attitude that the top leadership in Congress has. So I would not blame Supriya Shrinet to be making these comments because it's a trickle-down effect. When your leader are making these kinds of comments, of course the cadre is going to assume that it's okay to make these kind of comments against women. And then, you know, the entire thing about respecting women goes out Bhavna, for a Bhavna, toss because Bhavna. it's the leaders who are setting the example. Bhavna. It is Rahul Bhavna. Gandhi and Bhavna Priyanka Bhavna. Bhavna who are setting examples to right. start the rest is very okay, Bhavna, 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 because 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 there is a there is you see i'll tell you one thing bhavna that politicians think everybody is below them and sometimes they bite off more than they can chew i genuinely believe that politicians are only following another career like there are journalists no, like there are true. computer scientists that's not true at all and like you shouldn't even believe that that allow me, allow me to, to allow me to complete. Allow, allow me to complete. We have as people and citizen of this nation. Okay. So, so I'll, that I'll, is not I'll, true. I'll, 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 it okay. is a bigger okay. responsibility. No. They are holding a responsibility Bhavna, of Bhavna, all people. Can I get? Can I? Bhavna, can I complete my point? Bhavna, I believe politicians. Okay, here's my belief. So far, politicians have had a mistaken belief, right? That they are more important than everybody else. Slowly, as India becomes a developed country, we will realize that politicians are just another profession, nothing special. 
Okay, nothing special. This whole Lalbatti no, culture, every they do going, hold the power. only things are changing. We give them 15, the power. Years from now, we you join politics. Give them the power no, it will have to. No, 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 no they power. Power. No, 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 no. Don't, don't have this illusion. Don't have this illusion. No, no. One minute. One minute. One minute. Bhavna, Bhavna, Bhavna. Listen, Bhavna. Bhavna, you are new to politics. Let me tell you. You give power, but you only <laughs> expect accountability, which means if a similar comment was to be made in any country. You keep talking about Western democracies. No, your leader keeps going to America and UK saying, why don't you save India? Then please ask if a, such a comment was to be made by a leader of the Labour Party or the Conservative Party in the UK, they'd be down in the dumps by now, not getting your party's support like Supriya Shinate is getting. Okay, here's my question to you, a very sharp one. If Supriya Shinate had used the picture of a woman leader of significance from the Congress Party, and made that comment. Simple question tonight. I want to know, Sanju. Why uh, don't you do that? Bhav, my I don't think she Bhavna is that dumb. If instead of Kangana, if if I, I am asking you, I am asking you a question. Just think about it. If instead of a picture yeah, of Kangana, do Rana, that. there would she, be a picture. I don't think she is so dumb. She is there would be a picture. Allow me to complete. Let let action. people hear my question. Bhavna, Bhavna, see, Bhavna, 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 see, listen. The reason why my questions are liked as well as why they hurt is because they make a lot of sense. <laughs> and my question is, let's not go obtuse not on this. If I'm there was a picture of a top leader of Congress party, a woman, a woman leader of the Congress party, if there would have been a picture of a woman leader of the Congress party with the comment below, kya bhao chal raha hai? Rate card kya hai? What action would have been taken if instead of Kangana Ranaut's picture, there would have been a picture of any senior woman Congress leader? What, what fate would Supriya Shunet have then faced? No, that apart. I'm not here to comment on that or I'm not here to support Ms. Why Shunet, that apart? Uh, How is the Shunet? answer to my question that apart? I'm only here to ask that not you a apart. question. That not apart. That not apart. If you are passing a comment on this particular uh, action of Ms. Supriya Shunate, what, whatever you are calling it as, why can't Ms. Kangana Ranaut go, go back and ask for an apology? So as the BJP party. Arnav, can I please come in? Okay, you know, Arnav, yes. I have one point to make. You made a very interesting point about how the reaction of the Congress party would have been absolutely glaringly different if the same comment would have been made by Supriya Shinate, but not for Kangana Ranaut or from the BJP, but for somebody from her own group, from her own ecosystem. No, they don't do that. I'll tell you something. Not so I did not interrupt you. They, I did not interrupt you. Please keep quiet. They have the right. They have okay, the fine. You continue talking. The, After you're done, I will speak. to face their life. They don't After do you're that. done, I will speak. Are you done? Because I did not heckle you. After you're done, I will speak. Now that you're done, let me come in. Arna, do you remember that there was a girl called Ankita Datta? She was the uh, head of the Youth Congress Division of Congress in Assam. She made a complaint against B. Srinivas, again another youth leader from the Congress party and one of Rahul Gandhi's very close confidants. Ankita Datta simply said that I have been sexually harassed by B. Srinivas on umpteen occasions. I demand that the top brass of the Congress party, it should order an inquiry into B. Srinivas. She did not even say that B. Srinivas ko party se nikal diya jaye ya barkhas kar diya jaye. I imagine, I was appalled. Instead of taking action against B. Srinivas, che saalo tak Ankita Datta has been suspended from even the primary membership of the Congress party. Aur ye wahi party hai, jis ki Priyanka Vadra har ghar ja kar, har rooftop se chilla chilla kar kehti hai, लड़की हो लड़ सकती हो लड़की हो लड़ सकती हो लड़की हो लड़ सकती हो अरे आप लड़की हो लड़ सकती हो तो अर्चना गौतम when she was thrashed outside the Congress office आपके मुंह में दही क्यों जम गया नाउ आई हैव दत्ता के मामले में आपके मुंह में दही क्यों जम गया सुप्रिया श्रीले संजू शी इज़ आस्किंग अ काउंटर संजू भावना आस्क काउंटर � Bhavna is asking a counter to you, counter to counter from Bhavna. Bhavna is asking Sanju a counter. Go on, Bhavna. Yes, why even when I when she is saying such incidences which has taken place in Congress a party, so हमारे कुछ respect ही नहीं है लड़कियों के बारे में तो फिर why are you even expecting any such answers from Priyanka Gandhi? वो तो I want to know now. अरे madam, if you are in public life, you will be asked uncomfortable questions. 
यू कैन नॉट से नहीं आपको तो हम पर विश्वास नहीं है हम आपके सवाल का जवाब नहीं देंगे He would have to exactly answer a whole lot of those questions. If somebody is in a public life, somebody like you, you are not going to be able to answer all the questions. Not even the most important or the most important questions are asked. Or an ethics, or an ethics, or an ethics. Why can't Miss Kangana Rana go back and ask Mr. Rana? Don't let you abuse every woman on every panel. So please don't talk about ethics. It's not so. It's the same person who made a comment. I am simply saying that Supriya Shrinath is not so bad. Supriya Shrinath to task. Let Priyanka Vadra at least condemn and explain. Why are you so obsessed with the law? 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 There is a you whole can't, black you chapter can't that say, can be written. Okay, the the silence the silence of the Congress party is a compounding offence. It leads one to believe that the Congress party believes that anybody who is a threat to the Vadra Gandhi family or comes from a different family background or is a self-made person like Smriti Rani and Kangana Ranaut deserve to be the subject of disgusting comments by people like Sanjay Nirupam and Supriya Shrinath. And there is a silent applause going on within ten jantar, where they are probably has, getting a pat on their back, saying, "Well, well done. done. We are right behind." She has taken it off the handle as soon as she came. Why would anybody then go? Why should? No, no. What do you mean, not done it? You do something and then say, "Don't have done it." He is looking into it. See, why? Why would the leadership step in and make an issue out of it? Rashmi, Rashmi hasn't spoken much. Rashmi, to respond to that. Rashmi, to think that Rashmi, 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 Rashmi
बीजेपी Amity has been ranked among the top universities globally for producing the most employable graduates by the Times Higher Education UK. Yet another testimony to Amity's excellent placement record. We need India. There's no doubt about that. For the first time, perhaps after he took office, that he's speaking, uh, perhaps the right language in the context of India. Well, uh, yes, uh, uh, that also uh, I believe has relationship or links to uh, your invitation to me, and that I was able to be there and I was able to be seen with the prime minister. And and welcome back. Our last debate: the BJP has fielded Sandesh Kali survivor Rekha Patra. from the bashirhat lok sabha seat the prime minister dialed rekha patra and called her shakti swarup with the prime minister pitching nari shakti and supporting rekha patra's candidature does rekha patra's success or defeat hold the key for the bjp in bengal and for the fight that sandesh khali represents let's debate <laughs> Sandesh Khali has hit the headlines once again. BJP has decided to field Rekha Patra, the Sandesh Khali survivor and the first one to file a complaint against mass rape allegations from Basirhat Lok Sabha seat. Prime Minister Modi dialed Rekha Patra and called her Shakti Swarup. Hey, you have to have faith in yourself. You will be sure to reach Delhi and you will be sure to win. Look, Sandesh Khali, you have fought so many battles. You are a Shakti Swarup. Hey, you have to have faith in yourself. You will be sure to reach Delhi. In her nine-minute conversation, Rekha Patra promised a safe environment. और संदेश खाली वेमेन जब आपका नाम घोषित हुआ तो क्या माहौल क्या था क्या लगा लोगों का आपको क्या क्या परिस्थितियों का सामना भी करना पड़ता होगा क्या हो रहा है मैं जरा पूरा चित्र समझना चाहता हूँ हमारे साथ जो दुर्घटना घटी थी हम तो बहुत दुर्भाग्यशाली हम संदेश खाली का माँ बहन नहीं है पूरा बसीरा लोकसभा का जो माँ बहन है सब एक समान तस्वीर तो हुई है और हमारी साथ जो हुई उनकी तो जेल हुई ईडी की हाथ चला गया और हम चाहती है उनकी साजा मिले और हाँ हमारा इधर जो 2011 साल से वोट हम इलेक्शन नहीं दे पाई हम चाहती है पूरा सुरक्षा के साथ वोट दे पाए डज रेखा पात्रा होल्ड की फॉर बीजेपी इन बंगाल कैन द बीजेपी ब्रिज ममता बेस्टिन लेट्स डिबेट Uh, Neil Basu backs the TMC. Neil is debating with Sanju Verma on this short last debate. Neil, with Rekha Patra's candidature, Rekha Patra stands for the persecuted women of Sandesh Khali, and the Trinamool Congress stands for Sheikh Shah Jahan. It's as clear as that. The face of the Sandesh Khali uprising is Rekha Patra, and the biggest supporter of Sheikh Shah Jahan has been the Trinamool Congress. 
Who do you think will win here? Neil. Absolutely not. Sheikh Shahjahan is uh, uh, now at present in custody and several proceedings have been initiated against him. That is a different issue. Now the question arises regarding Rekha Patna. So if uh, this Rekha Patna, the candidate that BJP has given, uh, if uh, it succeeds, a scenario is something else. And if he, she does not succeed, then the scenario became, becomes something else. Why? I say, say it to you, Anna, because uh, maybe Rekha Patra, there has been some torture against uh, Rekha Patra or something here. She may have made some complaint, but these are all allegations. If these allegations are proved, then BJP will get a uh, go away with that. But if these allegations are not proved, these allegations are finally fails, it becomes false. Then what will be the stand? What will be the collusion between the BJP and uh, uh, and other persons of from this country? There, uh, there comes a collusion. If this Rekha Patra even fails, even now you are saying she cannot even now, you, know, now. you know you know how much this. Okay, Neil, 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 you are you are even now you are saying that the protesters of Sandesh Kali are making up stories against Not Sheikh Shahjahan. It Rekha is this Patra attitude friends. that is going Only to cost Rekha. you heavily. I need oh, to answer Rekha this, Arnab. Okay. Can okay. I please? But Rekha Patra only has Rekha the support Patra, of all the protesters. protesters. Saju is responding to you. No, no not, at all, not at all. Only Arnab, Rekha please. I, I heard the gentleman. Can I please respond, sir? I heard you. Thank you. You know, Arnab, it's like please saying, oh, I do what? believe, I do believe that there was a law and order problem in Sandesh Khali. I do believe that women were being picked up from their uh, residence based on their color and their beauty and their appearance. Oh, I do believe that, uh, you know, Shah Jahan Sheikh is guilty. But you know what? I don't believe the woman who was actually at the forefront forefront of the Sandesh Kali movement and that woman is Rekha Patra. And I take objection to you saying this Rekha Patra, this Rekha Patra. I heard you say that at least four times when you were making your interjection. You know, when you address somebody as this Rekha Patra, that is the first sign that you're trying to undermine you don't understand this person's the credibility. Correct. You don't understand Please, the difference between you. allegations I and proving of like this. this. You don't understand. I refuse to debate you like don't this with this man. The allegation I will not debate with you, you if you continue understand. to behave like a vandal. I will not debate with you if you behave like a gunda. I will not debate with you if you behave like a goon. You don't know anything. You don't know anything. Yes, I don't know anything. You are self guru sampan. Okay? You are self guru sampan. But now it is my turn to speak. It is my turn to speak. What does allegation mean? Or not? If you want to stay in a debate, I refuse to take part in it. Let him finish speaking. Can I request Neil, 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 Neil? Neil, she objected to your reference to Rekha Patra, which was as this Rekha Patra. Please respect her. Now she may not be from your right. political party. If she may not be associated true. with Shah Jahan, but she doesn't deserve to be spoken to in this way. If, Can I if finish what I was saying? True, if the allegations are true, then it's one scenario. I did not if the, if the I well, the allegations are serious enough, true. Neil. The allegations are serious enough, Neil, no, for you, for you point. not to be condescending towards. I need to make my point. No, no, not at all. Allegations have to be proved. Okay, so let me finish saying what I was saying. Or not, why don't you stop this man? Or is this going to be a debate only by the TMC panelists and the BJP has to sit with Fevicol? I need to make my rebuttal. I heard you. I did not even interject you once. Now let me say one thing. What will happen in Sandesh Kali investigation? How long will Shah Jahan Sheikh be in prison? All that is something that will unfold over a period of time. But what is not lost on anyone is the fact that Mamta Banerjee is the sitting chief minister. She also doubles up as the home minister and for 58 days. How many days? 58 days. Shah Jahan Sheikh was on the run. Law and order is a state subject under the seventh schedule of the Indian constitution. I want to ask Mamta Banerjee, why did it take her government 58 days to finally ensure that Shah Jahan Sheikh was arrested? And she went to the Supreme Court saying, we don't want a CBI investigation against Shah Jahan Sheikh. Thank God the Supreme Court threw out that petition out of the window and Mamta Banerjee had a nice big fat omelette on her face. And I'm not going to mince words because this is the same Mamta Banerjee whose minister... Shashi Panja, who's the WCD minister in Bengal, after two BJP women karyakartas in Hawa and Hooghly were disrobed, what did Shashi Panja say? Are Adi, unke kapde utar gaye to utar gaye. Why is the BJP making such a big 
हला बलू आउट ऑफ एट कपड़े उतर गए इसमें कोई बड़ी बात नहीं है दिस इज द सेम ममता बैनर्जी हु सेड आफ्टर दी हंसा खाली गैंग रेप लेट अ प्रेगनेंसी नो इट अ रेप थी नो ना इट अ लव अफेयर थी नो सो प्लीज डोंट सिट हियर एज द टीएमसी नुमाइंडा एंड गिव भाषण टू बीजेपी ऑन एटिकेट एथिक्स एंड पॉलिटिकल मोरालिटी बिकॉज़ द टीएमसी हैज नन ऑफ दिस We have seen that Rekha Papa. Neel. You have seen that a gangster Neel. called Haji. BJP showed it in Andhra. You have seen BJP that a gangster called BJP Haji Nurul Islam. Haji Nurul Islam, the candidate of the BJP from Bashirat. Haji Nurul Islam was involved in the Ganga riots of 2010. She will go on and on and on. You have seen that an empowered woman from Bashirat. You have seen that a gunda. उट I think uh well, I think the BJP especially after the prime minister's conversation with Rekha Patra today will put all their might Neil and Sanju behind her candidacy right. and they are going to go all out in Sandesh Khali so we'll see where that goes that's going to be one of the most keenly contested battles of 2024 one of the most keenly contested prestige battles of 2024 that is what i see yeah so so we'll track it we'll track it ladies and gentlemen ladies and gentlemen it's been a it's been a really hot show tonight i'll come back to you with breaking news exclusive angles and a lot more tomorrow at 9 only for tonight good night thank you for watching and good bye Amity has been ranked among the top universities globally for producing the most employable graduates by the Times Higher Education UK. Yet another testimony to Amity's excellent placement record. You said that Sushant was made an outcast. Who made him an outcast? I am referring to people that Sushant was referring to. He is clearly telling his audiences during his last release. So when he was completely broken and uh, mentally fragile, Mahesh Bhatt. Who is Mahesh Bhatt in Sushant Singh Rajput's life? Why not call his own father or his mama, Chacha? But it seems that some people very conveniently ignoring to see this. You are saying, Kangana, that all of them in their different ways made Sushant a target. um i call it a murder because i do feel abandonment of uh, suicide in according to section 57 it is um as much of a criminal offense as physically killing one person you know let's start by you know you said that sushant was made an outcast uh my first question to you is kangana who made him an outcast you know sushant he was an outstanding mind he made it big in the tv industry and in bollywood uh those who uh, those who uh, you know uh, disagree with you say that if he was an outcast how would he have made it big uh you spoke about how he was systematically sidelined systematically insulted in the industry who are you referring to kangana i am referring to people that sushant was referring to first of all if you see his uh, few instagram um, interactions with few people just before um you know his uh, murder happened he is clearly telling his audiences during his last release called son chidiya he is begging them to see his film and he is saying these people i'm not from bollywood and they will throw me out they will make sure that i don't work in this industry please watch my films please support me otherwise i will be destroyed i will be ruined now i want to know that why cops don't see this obvious framing when somebody is uh, himself expressing uh, such a threat to him so um, well we all know that the kind of situation he was in yes of course he was bright in every field he was physics olympiad winner and if had he taken the stanford scholarship he would have been a huge scientist today who knows but in film industry he has been absolutely bright but they are threatened by only bright people they are not threatened by uh, mediocrity so how systematically his career was killed they are very the mumbai police is very conveniently calling up people like say 
Sanjay Bhansali or summoning me or taking statements of uh, Shekhar Kapoor. But why aren't they calling the real powerful people? I feel he was systematically brought to a point where he did not see... Explain the word systematically. What do you mean systematically? Systematically, um, when... उसके बारे में इतनी भद्दी टिप्पणी तो हम सब मंडी वासी जो है वो बहुत ही कष्ट हमें हुआ है इस चीज को Amity has been ranked among the top universities globally for producing the most employable graduates by the Times Higher Education UK. Yet another testimony to Amity's excellent placement record. Tests after the operation found cancer had been present. My medical team therefore advised that I should undergo a course of preventative chemotherapy and I'm now in the early stages of that treatment. It has been an incredibly tough couple of months for our entire family, but I've had a fantastic medical team who have taken great care of me, for which I'm so grateful. In January, I underwent major abdominal surgery in London, and at the time, it was thought that my condition was non-cancerous. The surgery was successful. However, tests after the operation found cancer had been present. My medical team therefore advised that I should undergo a course of preventative chemotherapy and I'm now in the early stages of that treatment. We hope that you'll understand that as a family, we now need some time, space and privacy while I complete my treatment. My work has always brought me a deep sense of joy and I look forward to being back when I'm able. But for now, I must focus on making a full recovery. From the Delhi studios of Republic TV, it's time for Arnab Goswami on the debate.
Good evening and welcome viewers. The question I want to begin with tonight is whether all public servants in the country are equal or whether some public servants are more equal than others. And the reason I'm asking this is because Arvind Kejriwal holds the unusual distinction of being a serving chief minister operating from jail. Before joining politics, Arvind Kejriwal was in the Indian Revenue Service and therefore he was subject to the All India Services Rules of 1969, ladies and gentlemen, these rules. Now, under these rules, any public servant who is a member of a government service cannot operate from jail. In fact, anyone in custody who is in custody for a period of 48 hours, and now it's been longer than 48 hours that Kejriwal has been in custody, any public servant is necessarily and as a matter of routine suspended from service. Also, as per the All India Services rules, any central government officer who faces a charge which is, quote, likely to embarrass him in the discharge of his duties or involves an aspect of moral turpitude, unquote, will be suspended with immediate effect. Now, obviously, Liquor gate is not something to be proud of. It would embarrass Mr. Kejriwal. So this category also, there's a tick mark against Kejriwal. And what therefore the nation wants to know tonight is why are the rules different for a government officer who is a public servant vis-a-vis -a, -vis a politician who is a public servant? Why are the rules different for a civil servant officer, a central government officer, as opposed to politicians who are ministers or chief ministers? This is exactly the kind of point Arvind Kejriwal used to make when he entered politics. He used to say the rules should be equal to all. All public servants are equal. Politicians cannot demand special status. Then why is he exploiting that special status now? How much has changed in 10 years, Mr. Kejriwal? The fact is, viewers, that a public servant cannot work after being arrested. In that case, how can a chief minister be expected to work after being arrested while in custody from jail? How is the job of a chief minister less important than that of a government officer under the All India rules? And if it is not, then how can a chief minister demand more leeway than a central government officer? Arvind Kejriwal entered politics on the central premise of morality. And I am asking tonight, where is the morality in giving yourself more leeway on issues of corruption than any central government officer? Think about it, viewers. This country can no longer operate in a way that politicians like Arvind Kejriwal say the rules are different for us because we are politicians. The queues will disappear because we are politicians. We can make ambulances wait because we are our politicians and we can operate from jail because we are politicians. This cannot and should not and will not be allowed. Ladies and gentlemen, debate number one. As Kejriwal writes these magical letters from custody, the real question of the unequal treatment he's demanding for himself. Debate number two this evening. We have this dirty attack by Supriya Srinate. And despite this dirty attack by Supriya Srinate on Kangana Ranaut, Sonia Gandhi and Priyanka Vadra have decided to support Supriya Srinate and that's causing a big polarizing debate. Viewers also on the debate this evening, the Prime Minister has dialed the Sandesh Kali survivor and leader who is the BJP's candidate from Basirhat, the Rekha Patra, holding the key for the BJP in Bengal and what that represents, that debate number three. And here are the headlines this Tuesday evening on the debate tonight. In ED custody, Kejriwal issues yet another government order from lockup. There is now an investigation into any leak from the ED headquarters underway. Complete uproar after the Congress leader's insult to Kangana BJP demands that the sexist leader Supriya Srinate step down. 24 hours after the Congress leader Supriya Srinate's rate card insult to Kangana, 
Priyanka Vadra completely appears to be supporting the attack on Kangana. The Congress leadership is mum. <coughs> Prime Minister Dial Sandesh Kali, survivor and BJP candidate from Bashirhat in Bengal, calls her Shakti Swaroop. Yet another terror attack in Pakistan. Five Chinese nationals among six killed in Khyber Pakhtunwa. And big story tonight, Julian Assange's extradition put on hold as the UK court wants assurances from the United States. Arrested Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal has apparently been guiding his ministers almost a letter a day from behind bars. Who's writing these letters? Is it really him? How are the letters being leaked out? Several questions on that. But the bigger question tonight is this. Why should Arvind Kejriwal get special treatment compared to all other public servants who would have been suspended if they would have tried to operate from jail? The mysterious Kejriwal letters and this angle are debate number one. Let's debate. Kejriwal's minister reads a letter sent by the AAP convener. मैं अरविंद केजरीवाल जी की तरफ से सभी दिल्ली के लोगों को ये आश्वस्त करना चाहता हूं कि आपका मुख्यमंत्री चाहे जेल में है मगर सोच वो सिर्फ आपके लिए रहा है सिर्फ और सिर्फ जनता के लिए मुख्यमंत्री सोच रहे हैं और उनकी चिंता यही है कि उनके जाने के बाद पीछे कोई व्यवस्था खराब ना हो द सेकंड सच लेटर रेड आउट बाय अ डेली मिनिस्टर पानी और सीवर की काफी समस्याएं हो रही हैं इसे लेकर मैं चिंतित हूं क्योंकि मैं जेल में हूं इस वजह से लोगों को जरा भी तकलीफ नहीं होनी चाहिए जनता की समस्याओं का तुरंत और समुचित समाधान होना चाहिए जरूरत पड़ने पर उपराज्यपाल महोदय का भी सहयोग लें वे भी आपकी जरूर मदद करेंगे अरविंद केजरीवाल दिस एज द ईडी इज फिगरिंग आउट how the letters are being released aap had stated the government will run from jail right after kejriwal's arrest samman dene ka sirf ek bahana hai andar search chal rahi hai mukhyamantri ji ke aur unke office ke logon ke paas phone ka access nahi hai bina phone ke hain aur andar search operation jo hai ed ka chal raha hai ab wo sahi hai galat hai मगर अरेस्ट करने की तैयारी अब पूरी तरीके से देखी जा सकती है दिस एज द ऑपोजिशन इज रैलिंग बिहाइंड केजरीवाल देश के प्रधानमंत्री जी एजेंसियों का दुरुपयोग करके लोगों को डरा करके धमका करके पैसे दे करके खरीद रहे या फिर जो सुनने को तैयार नहीं है जो न बिकने को तैयार है न झुकने को तैयार है न रुकने को तैयार है उन सारे विपक्ष के नेताओं के खिलाफ फर्जी मुकदमे करके 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 उनको गिरफ्तार करने की साजिश हो रही विद अदर्स कॉलिंग द अरेस्ट डेंजरस फॉर डेमोक्रेसी गवर्नमेंट अंडर ईडी कस्टडी तो है सिटिंग चीफ मिनिस्टर है ना इस्तीफा नहीं दिया इससे पहले जब झारखंड के मुख्यमंत्री को ईडी के तरफ से गिरफ्तार किया गया था तो गिरफ्तारी से पहले उन्होंने इस्तीफा दिया लेकिन केजरीवाल साहब ने नहीं दिया वो सिटिंग चीफ मिनिस्टर हैं जमहूरीत के लिए इस तरह सिटिंग चीफ मिनिस्टर को यूं डिटेन करना इस मुल्क के लिए और इस मुल्क की जमहूरीत के लिए एक अच्छी बात नहीं है The BJP has meanwhile taken to the streets. जेल से सरकार चलाने में दिल्ली की जनता का अहित हो रहा है और मैं पूछना चाहती हूँ माननीय मुख्यमंत्री अरविंद केजरीवाल जी से आप तो नसीहत देते थे देश के सभी राजनेताओं को आपकी आत्मा क्यों सो रही है आपको नैतिकता पर इस्तीफा दे देना चाहिए केजरीवाल अपीयर्स टू बी गाइडिंग हिज लीडर्स फ्रॉम जेल 
but can Kejriwal be allowed to run his government from jail? Let's debate. Anmol Pawar, I'll keep it factual. We go straight with you and uh, Nalin Kohli on the debate from the BJP. Anmol Pawar is spokesperson for the AAP, as you know, viewers. Mahesh Bhigala is spokesperson of the BRS. Karan Varma backs the BJP. We have uh, Pankaj Sharma with us on the debate. Uh, now, Anmol Pawar, I invite your attention to All India Service Discipline and Appeal Rules 1969, which apply to all public servants, right, who are members of the All India Service, which means public servants who are government offices. So, public servants who are government offices, the kind of rules that Arvind Kejriwal would have been bound by if he was in the Indian Revenue Service. According to this, uh, a member of the service who is detained in official custody, whether on a criminal charge or otherwise, for a period longer than 48 hours shall be Automatic deemed suspended. to have been suspended by the government Concerned under this rule, suspended. Concerned under this rule, more than 48 hours you are in jail, you are suspended automatically. Now, I remember that when Arvind Kejriwal came into politics, Nalin Anmol, he used to say that politicians should not get special treatment. The same rules that apply to everyone, whether a clerk or an officer or an undersecretary, a secretary should also apply to a minister. These were Arvind Kejriwal's words. Therefore, by his words, he should be suspended by now. But he says now that I am a politician, the same rules don't apply to me. So, do you want me to read this out again? A member of a service who is detained in official custody, whether on a criminal charge or otherwise, for a period longer than 48 hours, shall be deemed to have been suspended, which automatically, impromptu, deemed to be suspended. by the government concerned uh, no. under this rule. Arab, thanks for Deem inviting my attention yes. to these rules. Why should this not apply to Arvind Kejriwal? Arab, thanks for inviting my attention to these rules. Now, let me invite your attention towards the orders passed by the Honorable Supreme Court in Sahara case, wherein he was allowed to use conference room with special facilities like Wi-Fi video conferencing. He was allowed two desktops, landline phone with STD, ISD facility, a mobile phone, two secretarial and one technical person was also allowed to assist him. And let me also invite your attention to the uh, order passed by the Honorable Division Bench when two Bengal ministers were uh, under house arrest in Narada scam. They were allowed to operate and meet the ministers through video conferencing facilities. So, first of all, these rules which you are stating does not uh, apply to the Honorable Delhi Chief Minister. And secondly, there are precedents in the past wherein the Honorable Division Bench of the High Court and the Supreme Court has allowed the ministers and uh, others to operate from inside the jail. Mr. Null and Kohli can throw some light on okay, these I, orders. I will let... I will... Let, I, I, will, I, will, I, I, I thank will. you for inviting your I attention. Will. My As a lawyer, I was in court case. when some of these orders uh, were passed. One minute, Nalin. I, I'll just, I'll just make a, I'll just make a, I'll just May make I a small that? point before I ask you to respond to Anmol Pawar tonight. Give me a moment to make a point here tonight. Now, how times change? How times change, viewers? Uh, year is 2011. A younger Arvind Kejriwal enters public life as a lieutenant to Anna Hazare. And one of the reasons Arvind Kejriwal enters politics is because he says <coughs> what people like Subroto Roy Sahara have done should never be forgiven. They have scammed the poor, they have stolen from the poor and they should be denied all privileges. Tonight how times change viewers that the person called Subroto Roy Sahara who is responsible for what is colloquially called the Sahara scam, his example and the special privileges given to him as an individual case, are being quoted by the Aam Admi Party to demand same privileges for Arvind Kejriwal in jail without giving me an answer to my question that the rules of a public servant which apply to a central government officer should apply to a politician. I don't believe in there's a world where a, a politician a should say because I'm uh, a no, politician, there's a, there's I will not be suspended. Should apply I can't believe apply. it, viewers. I cannot, I cannot believe that this is happening tonight. Can you believe? Can you believe this, viewers? Please show me any of the provision which bars the sitting chief minister. 
to operate from inside the jail. Any constitutional provision. You can't because How you don't you're have... holding on to technicalities. I'll let Nalin Kohli respond. The argument it's is not about, about technicalities. You're holding on to technicalities. We are here. governed by I've the constitution of India. Room. And this I, okay, constitution okay, okay, gives okay, us I put the it privilege. One minute, one minute. It one minute, gives us one the right. Okay, 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 okay. One minute. One, just one, just one minute. We just have been uh, framed viewers. in a false case. Anmol, you are listening case. to my question. You're countering me. You're countering me. I want to debate with you. I don't want to fight with you. But I will make my point because because I will make my point, Anmol. All I'm saying tonight, and I think the viewer understands me. Viewers, what if, Anmol, please allow me to comprehensively make my point. And Nalin will respond to you. I've given you the opening. Viewers, what am I saying? I am saying that till he was about 40 years old, Arvind Kejriwal, or maybe 38, 39 years old, Arvind Kejriwal was an Indian Revenue Service officer. He was therefore bound by some rules. Is he still an Why Indian should Revenue the Service rules officer? be stronger oh, for an Indian is he Revenue still Service an IRS officer, officer and no? weaker for his boss, the politician? I do is not he understand still an IRS this. I, nobody understands this. I am saying, why should. One minute, Does sir. Let me complete. Let me complete. One well? minute, sir. Sir, one minute, sir. I, I, okay, so Anmol, don't, don't speak so over me because you think my argument is so strong that if viewers listen to me, they will be with me. I will repeat my point. I request you not to intervene over me. I'm making a simple point, viewers. At the age of 37, at the age of 40, at the age of 42, Arvind Kejriwal tom tom around saying strong rules should apply to politicians. Rules for politicians should be as strong, if not stronger, than for government officers. Today, at the age of 56, 57, Arvind Kejriwal is saying, Oh, but the rule, I am a politician now. Uh, I can operate from jail, but the civil servant cannot. It's not making any sense to us. And I know the viewers are with me. Nalin is on the debate. Ladies and gentlemen, Nalin responding to Anmol Pawar on this fiery debate tonight. Nalin. Thank you, Arnab. I just hope that I have the courtesy from Anmol that I can finish my point without interruption. I think we need to look at Mr. Kejriwal as total in totality. What is coming out, and let your viewers decide, either he's a man who's a pathological liar, that means he says one thing and does exactly the opposite, or for the sake of power, he's willing to do anything. It's one of the two. Let's look at his trajectory. He came on India against corruption, saying that I will not let corruption happen, I will take action against corruption. His two ministers, he's the chief minister of Delhi, are in jail without bail. Another colleague is in jail. For what? In a corruption scam related to the liquor scam. He himself does not join the investigation, takes no action against them, runs away from the investigation, today is in jail. Now let's look at it, why I said he either is desperate for power. In 2013, he ensured after he came to power, first he said, I take the oath of my children. I will not join the Congress party. Radio after radio ad. First thing he did is form the government with the Congress party. Then eliminated every one of his fellow travelers who could have been a sort of a model standing around him or prevented him from holding on to power securely. All of them one by one he moved out. Now let's come to the point you raise. He is under the oath of the constitution to serve the people. People don't go to jail to serve the public. People go to jail because the courts believe that the person should be kept away from the public not serve the public. When a person is in jail, you run by the jail manual. Forget about the constitution of India. The first question is, show me a provision in the jail manual that we says that a man who is a chief minister should India. be permitted to get facilities to run it. Number three, in the Sahara case, and I was in court when it came up in the Supreme Court, please note, Sahara Shri at that time, the late Sahara Shri, was uh, being investigated for having taken 15, 16, 30,000 crores or something. The court gave him the facilities to negotiate the sale of a hotel in London to pay back the people whom, on whom there was this allegation that he had scammed their money. It wasn't for him to function and run his company. It was for a specific purpose that you will sell off the assets to make sure that the depositors get the money. Number two. The West Bengal case that he is giving is about house arrest. Mr. Kejriwal is not under house arrest. He is not living in his private confines of the house. He is in Tihar jail. The jail will run that's by true, the jail true. manual, not the rules of house arrest. So typical of the Aam Admi Party to pick an argument from somewhere else and somehow try to mold it to suit them. Last question. 
how are these papers coming out? In the jail, you don't have uh, access to cellular phones, to internet, to, uh, well, typewriters, computers, etc. How are they coming out? One wonders. And if they are coming out, what is their legal sanctity? Because Mr. Kejriwal ultimately is in jail. Then he talks about water. After going to jail, nine years in power, you're not bothered about the summers that come every year. The weather of the year returns every year. There is a summer, there's a water crisis. Now suddenly I'm worried about the water crisis. While his colleagues out there are crying copious tears, what a wonderful man he is. If he was a wonderful man, then how did a scam take place in Delhi under his nose? And if he was allowing it to happen, does it not mean that he himself was permitting it? Or was he so incompetent that he couldn't prevent his own ministers from taking decisions against the interests of Delhi? These are serious allegations. Okay, Mr. Kejriwal and the Aam Aadmi Party can't escape by creating and manufacturing technicalities that don't even apply to them. Arnab, uh, can no, I respond? I, 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 we, are, we are on a, Arnab, are on a point Arnab, I want no, to, Anmol, I want to Anmol, 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 uh, uh, can I, I just get the others in? Viewers, we are also in a, we are also in a very, uh, Anmol, give me a moment to get the others in, I'll come back to you. We are in a strange situation now. Emperor Kejriwal issues one farman from jail every day. Yesterday's farman. And this is the way it's going. <coughs> this is not a gov. Yesterday's farman. Arnab, it, it's not farman. It's I have been told CM. that I... He is an elected CM okay. and people uh, of Chief Delhi Chief Minister have Kejriwal the issues a decree a day. Please Chief don't Minister the Kejriwal issues a decree a day, Anmol. Yesterday's <coughs> decree, yesterday's decree, I have heard that people are facing water problems and sewer problems. I give an instruction that people should not face any water problem. Today's instruction. I have heard oh, minute, that I there are problems in Mohalla. One minute, Mr. Goswami, I on what basis is he arriving at that these there conclusions? There should be no problems in Mohalla. Which has gone before him? Which noting has gone before him? No, no, which no, no, officer is reporting to him? One minute, one minute. No, 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 one minute, one minute. He's sitting one there one and just, just passing one, just out a farman. One minute, one minute, one minute, one minute. Don't get, don't get emo on this. Don't get emo on this. Don't get emotional on this. One second. Question here tonight is: Look at the way the instructions are happening, Mr. Sabarwal. Welcome. I have heard people have water problems. I issue an instruction, solve water problems. Yesterday, today, I have heard there is a problem with Mohalla clinics. I give an instruction, solve the problems in Mohalla clinics. Do governments work like this, Pankaj? Is it a joke? <laughs> Do governments work like this? See, suspending a government servant after he is arrested Pankaj, is different. Do governments work like this? He is still he is still a serving chief minister. He is in jail. Different thing. I am saying suspending a but government servant a government after he is no? arrested. You know, suspending a government servant yes. if he is arrested is different. There is nothing like suspending a political authority from his position of MLA, MP, minister, chairperson, etc. After his arrest, or even if he is in jail, how can you compare these I think two you're things? Wrong. Morality, yes. Can I also yes. Maybe morality. I, I, because I think, I, I think, I think, no, Arnab. no, 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 one minute, one minute. You are saying, how do you compare? No, 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 one minute. Karan, so, okay, let Karan come in then, Sorvesh. Yeah, Karan. No, no, Arnab, he is factually incorrect because as per the Delhi no, prison rules, complete. jail let manual, one complete. second now, please let me make a point, please. Jail manual number 1349. Nobody in the jail is allowed meetings, calls or conferences until and unless it is to pay someone's money in case of Sahara, which my friend from AAP quotes. There he had to pay money and for that special provision, He's Sahara had jail. to pay 1.25 CR to the Court jail. Has to the take the... So how can a CM function without making calls? Only Kejriwal can function like that without making calls, you, without you, meetings, you without want to say, This is the law. You want to say so if the Delhi government case, pays money. Know that. We all know so that Ali Kejriwal has time and again claimed that I am an anarchist. Can get all but these shouting norms to this level and playing this say. cruel joke on the people of Delhi is in very bad taste. I think that is not going to go very well with people. We do not want somebody sitting in Tihar to control Delhi. This man had no portfolio when he was outside. That time he was sleeping on everything. That time he had no portfolio. Now suddenly, and let me ask this question to the AAP spokesperson. Why did you take resignation of Manish Sisodia and Satendra Jain then? Even they should have been allowed to run from jail. If everyone is going to run their portfolio from jail, why the hell did that you ask the them to resign?
So don't have this mm. duplicity in standards and follow the law. So One, three, four, nine. The jail manual is clear. You cannot have meetings. You cannot have conferences. And where is the CR number on Kejriwal's order? No, no. Where is the signature on Kejriwal's order? I think this is a new scam where Atishi has misled people. How can you claim this is an order from the government? It is always a cabinet ministry. No, do you mean she's lying? Who is the chief minister? Are you the saying? Who are you saying these are lies? Who is even his no, no, wife? No, no, no. Are to you this? saying these are lies because I? Yeah. So, so Anmol, I am asking you a second time. See, if you, do, if Kejriwal does not quit, the courts will make him quit. I, I'm, 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 I'm telling you clearly on this, Anmol. You are heading for another embarrassment. If Arvind Kejriwal does not quit, take it as a prediction from me, the courts will make him quit. Because Senthil Balaji in Tamil Nadu was also arrested and he was holding a ministerial post. I like to read out the Madras High Court observations on Balaji's continuance as minister. Anmol, please pay close attention, Ramesh Savarwal. The Madras High Court said, his continuance as minister, quote, serves no purpose and does not augur well with the principles of constitutional ethos on goodness, good governance and purity in administration. You are being arrogant. You will be made to quit. The Madras High Court further said, and may I be allowed to quote, the founding fathers of our constitution may not have comprehended corrosion of good and clean governance to an extent. That a person would be retained as minister without portfolio, that too while in custody. This appears to be an observation on Arvind Kejriwal. Anmol, the on remarks of the Honorable Court itself, do they not suffice for Kejriwal to step down? And if Kejriwal is to step down, not on his own, but on the persuasion of the courts, it will be a greater embarrassment for you. It will be a far greater Arnab. embarrassment for you. I rest my Arnab. case here. Arnab. I rest my Arnab. case here. You know I am on a strong wicket tonight compared to you. Arnab, uh, it is very unfortunate that Mr. Kohli is saying that leave aside constitution. There's, because he knows that there is no constitutional bar. Leave aside constitution? From running the government from custody. First. Leave aside. Leave aside. Secondly. Secondly. Mr. Saying? Kohli, running a company stands on a stands on a higher pedestal than running a company. If the Honorable Supreme Court, in its wisdom, has granted the opportunity to Sahara to run from uh, to operate from the jail, then I'm certain that Honorable Court would be considerate enough to understand the plight of two crore citizens who have given the mandate to Mr. Kejriwal and reaffirmed their stance when we visited each and every household in the past three months. Third point, please don't lecture on morality because your own leader, Mr. Narendra Modi... I'm horrified. Modi, I'm absolutely horrified. Horrified at these oh, arguments no, please, tonight. Please I'm horrified me beyond measure. This has become a habit to intervene while I'm making my submissions. Please allow me to complete. Your own leader, Mr. That's Narendra Modi... That's true. It's Modi, been a habit for a long time. I agree to with that. I concede. I concede guilty on that. Yes. every opposition party leaders as corrupt. Why did you absorb Mr... Ashok Chawan in your party? Why did you absorb uh, Suvendu Adhikari in your party? Why did you absorb Aapadibay. Ajit Pawar in your party? Himanta Biswa Sarma, Pranay Sarnayak. There's a long list, Mr. Kohli. You need to answer. And from the last two days, I'm repeatedly asking... I need to and question. I will answer. I'm, I'm repeatedly asking question to your, fel uh, to your party spokesperson that why did you take 60 crore rupees from the kingpin of the alleged liquor scam, P. Sarad Chandra Chatterjee. He paid 5 crore on 15th One, of November I, I, 2022. I, I, this, this issue. He paid 55 crore on, a, on 8th of November you, 2023. You want to make your introductory points and before I come in? And the enforcement working at the I, behest I, of Bharti I, Janata Anmol, Party. Anmol, I have, I have not been able to go to the panelists at all. I'd like to Adha, give an opportunity to Mahesh Begala. One minute, Nalin, before you respond... <laughs> Before you respond, I'd like to get the spokesperson of the, the BRS. application of the alleged kingpin of the liquor scam. Why is it so? It is for you to answer. Sodia, as per the data, getting exposed. Unmoored. 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 Unmoored
as per the Delhi court. Why is it that the it's other Manish Sisodia? Anmol, 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 first of all. Was granted a parliamentary ticket by your ally TDP. And now Mr. Modi will go and campaign we are, for the second alleged kingdom Can I say something? Camp. He's having a Anmol, meltdown Anmol, right I have, He's going Anmol, in every direction except Anmol. for the case. An Anmol, 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 have one minute, Anmol. Do I have, have a gift of questions? saying a lot of things. I've of saying a lot of meaningful things in a short nugget. Other than rhetoric, do I will say one simple nugget and you think case? about it, then I'll go. What? No, no rhetoric. I'm very factual. I'm never rhetorical. My point to Mahesh viewers is what is being argued tonight by our honorable friend from the Aam Aadmi Party who has just said that chief ministers, politicians are on a higher pedestal. First of all, I disagree. Chief ministers are on the same pedestal as have, us ordinary mortals. Don't say chief that. ministers are on a higher pedestal. I have now, having assumed, having assumed that chief ministers are on higher pedestals, ministers are on higher pedestals, they are bigger people, they are on higher pedestals, they are sitting on top of a skyscraper of morality, sitting on top of a skyscraper of morality that no elevator can ever reach them. Then my point is unmoral, my point is Please allow me. I'm, 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 I'm hitting your underhand get, bowling for a six after six tonight. I, and and since, since in your view, camp. since in your view, you please, please, I've called you an honourable member. One minute. Since in your view, ministers are on a higher pedestal, why should they be subject to lower morality? My argument is if you're saying somebody is on a higher pedestal, then apply higher morality to that person, not lower morality. My second point tonight, I never think, I never thought, I never dreamt, I never had a nightmare. That the day would come when the Amadi party would use the example of Subroto Roy and maybe in the future Vijay Malia to, to defend their own actions. You are not asking the BJP spokesperson why did they get 60 crore rupees from the alleged kingpin of the liquor scam P. Sarad Reddy? Why didn't the Enforcement Directorate working at their BS oppose the bail application and he was granted bail on a simple ground okay. that he has a back pain? Why did they have 60 crore rupees? Do they have okay. any answer? Now, can, you, now, can you question now. them on this? Can you ask them why? how will Mr. Modi go and campaign? For another approver, Magunta Reddy, who has Mr. been granted Goswami. a Lok Sabha so, ticket. Somebody's, uh, Anmol, somebody's Anmol, charged Anmol, you... with a case of murder. That fellow says, my defense is that somebody else who was charged of murder got bail. I mean, is that an argument? So what kind of argument simple, it is? Why is Kejri Vahasi running away from answering question. a simple question? He is the chief I've minister. It is his government. Sir. His two ministers so are in jail. Your, uh, my, one of my fellow you panelists raised a very valid question. point. By saying the rules that apply for Manish Sisodia and Satyendra Jain won't apply to Kejri Vahasi. Amazing. Anmol, this man Anmol is a man of complete new terms or complete life. Or completely throwing aside anything. Here is a man who said, Mujhe makan nahi chahiye, makan liya, shish mein liya. Mujhe gaadi nahi chahiye, gaadi liya, bada gaadi liya. Here is a man who said, I get the point. No, 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 I think, I think, I think, I think, I think, I think what he is trying to argue tonight, what he is trying to argue tonight, Nalin, I think you've got it wrong. Nalin, I think you've got it wrong. One minute, one minute. Just, just one minute. Nalin, one minute. Nalin, Anmol, one minute. Anmol and Nalin, one minute. What Anmol Pawar is trying to argue tonight is that the rules should be applied equally to all. I was going to ask a question to the BRS spokesperson, but I'm tempted to respond very briefly to Anmol. I like Anmol's argument. I like his logic. I, would, I like uh, the I fact that he says if this happens to this person, the same thing should happen to that person. I, I like his logic. And, and Anmol, let me, let, me, let me throw a compliment your way. I think you are, you've got fantastic <coughs> logic. If this person is suspended, this person should be suspended. If this person arrested, that person should be arrested. If this person is punished, that person should be punished. Equally, Anmol, the uh, nation no, wants to know asked, that in 2015, a senior a government question. official who was the... Allow me now, I'm on a point. Please, I'm on a please. point now. Now, people want to hear this example I'm giving. I know I, people want to hear people, the example and I will proceed. Please listen to me Arnab, with patience. And with People earnestness, Anmol, one minute. In 2015, a senior of government official called Sanjay Pratap Singh, who was principal secretary in the Delhi government's Department of Welfare for Scheduled Caste, Scheduled Tribe and Minorities, was suspended from his post after the CBI arrested him for taking a bribe of 2.2 lakhs. So why not Kejriwal? In 1991, senior CBI bureaucrat was suspended on corruption charges. The person was caught accepting a bribe. The charge was a bribe. The person on being charged, on being charged, not convicted, was suspended. So why not Kejriwal? 
these are sharp questioning that i am doing tonight it's a moment because to think i am telling you i am not asking for reparations but i am say to asking for introspection can i yes. reply because Anmol, arnab in the last in the last two years Anmol, of i think investigation yes. and interrogation not a single penny is recovered in this so called liquor scam Sorry. because the intention okay. to prosecute the state there is a because the evidence is in crores because the please, case is based please, on the testimony of approvers and there is no court denying bail to manish sodia has said there is a money trail of 338 crores that there is a so judgment of the honorable supreme court in ravinder singh all these acts of person are bluffing on their way there is a money trail the testimony of approver there needs to be a corroborative evidence which is not present in this case supreme it is court a has said case. there is a money trail a of 338 crores you trust the supreme court or your level of anarchism is now that you don't okay, now, even now, need to recover a single piece of evidence now now you have to fact check him here Supreme uh, Court uh, on 30th I, October. I'd like to ask Mahesh Bigala, Mr. Bigala, a spokesperson of the BRS. You are watching this closely. In your view, in your view, in your view, if K. Kavita would have been holding public office now, if K. Kavita would have been, say, a minister in the state government, would she or would she not have quit by now? Would it have been conceivable tomorrow that she would have continued? Okay. Or let me give the example. Uh, Uh, if if ktr if ktr was to be arrested and he was a minister in the kcr government and he would be in custody for two weeks would he have continued as a minister or let me ask you god forbid if kcr would have been arrested would kcr have continued as a minister heman soren has been arrested can heman soren operate for two to three months as a minister yes let me answer that straight up no see first of all like you know this case it's more than the corruption it's like the you know, people of india they believe that it's more of a political arrest so it is still in the custody of uh, enforcement directory and the case investigation is going on but if you look at the constitution of india if the constitution of india allows them to function even if he's arrested they can continue i'm not just going into the just for the arvind kejriwal or uh, whoever it is or whether you talked about other leaders but just i'm saying that if the constitution of india allows them why the central government is not able to take action against sarvin kejriwal ji why the left governor left hand governor is keeping quiet why they are not moving to the court if the constitution of india allows nobody can stop see if the function of a chief minister he is not convicted yet he is under investigation once he is convicted if the applicable laws are allowed him to function from the jail he will function from the jail it is on the moral grounds it's up to kejriwal ji whether he wants to resign or not but as yeah. per the constitution i'm sure definitely he is allowed yeah. to function from the jail or even from the ed custody that's how he's doing but if the government of india always he can take an he's action allowed. if they believe that it's other way around he is allowed he is allowed but is it good now my can i ask nalin a question here romesh sabarwal you can come in Mr Nalin Kohli now comes the other argument if you can arrest a politician a chief minister and bring about a change of guard in the state then doesn't arrest especially arrest under PMLA become a very convenient tool to overturn the electoral verdict of the people of that state now let me ask you in more straight terms if the fight becomes question. more intense today you are friendly with navin patnaik today you are friendly with navin patnaik you have a working equation with him tomorrow if the relationship goes south all you have to do is that you have to arrest navin patnaik god forbid navin babu don't take it otherwise i'm only using you as a placeholder argument you have to only arrest navin patnaik and navin patnaik runs a party similar to aap as in like it is overly centralized on him the moment you arrest navin patnaik there will be chaos the party has no second line of leadership the state government will become unstable the bjp can then break the bjd and the whole political situation in odisha can change so are you also sending out a message through the arrest of kejriwal that the same thing could happen to other parties i am not saying liquor gate can be compared to anything else to anything i am talking in pure precedent 
what is the precedent I've, being I've set understood. is arrest a convenient tool today you are in power mr kohli today you are in power and we know the same mistakes are repeated by others when they are in power for example chidambaram is complaining about pmla now he was the one who used it the most and supported the most when he was in power the same rules god forbid is should a situation change could be used against you your chief ministers may be removed your sitting politicians may be out of a job elected it's a governments fair question it's can a fair be overturned in this way mr kanalin kohli please so, give us slightly detailed I'll reply to this i'll answer it head on yes thank you it's a fair question because this is how a narrative of falsehood is being built up by opposition parties so let's go look at the case here what was mr himan soren's case he was mining minister he allotted a mine to himself now in such a case should an investigation not happen what has happened in delhi in delhi it's a liquor scam the old policy is called bad new policy is brought in when irregularities in the new policy in terms of the policy being favoring a few people allegations of money transferring hand all come out they junk the old new policy that's a confirmation that they got worried that this policy may land us in trouble they, now in that two people went to jail both were sitting ministers and as uh, and as pointed out on your show both resignation was taken their appeals for bail has gone up to the supreme court it's been denied the courts are not run by the bjp the courts are independent they run on law but there is evidence that obviously you and i haven't seen but evidence that the ed is showing to the court and it's making sense let's come to the ed no, but, only but 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 again uh, mr kohli may I intervene here in may i intervene here may i intervene in here very briefly house. too because i want to Let counter you at this very point Let, uh, sure. mr mr no no sir one minute sir sir one minute sir one minute sir i i want to intervene one minute you are a lawyer and a politician ms soberwal you are a lawyer and a politician as a lawyer you know Mr Kohli that the courts will go by the facts as a politician you also know that the courts cannot initiate prosecution that becomes a subjective call at the hands of the executive so where you have unequal power is in the initiation of a no which is where which is where the courts step in for delayed so trial I and give bail No, no. Which where? is where default rule comes in as a provision. I'm saying, suppose you want to initiate prosecution against against. Suppose you want to initiate prosecution against Navin Patnaik tomorrow. Suppose, who can stop you? And we hope not. I mean, he's a very senior leader, as you rightly said. It's an example. No, no. I'm just giving a placeholder argument. Kejriwal also part of the your party at that time. No, 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 no. He was a B party of the BJP. No, no. Where was he? He was made by Congress. You are saying as a Congress party, Congress person, he was a B team of BJP. Congress was saying he was a B team of BJP. He was. Our party was. Our party was playing with people's hands. There was some some time. Anil Kumar. No, that's that's how he makes a reputation. He has to suffer now because he is a part of India Alliance. He became a part of India Alliance. That's why the whole government is after him now. This is the reason why. Because. But let me ask you a question. Because Anil Kumar was a part of the Indian Alliance. Congress did not do it. Third June 2022, it was Anil Kumar okay, Chaudhary, the Delhi Congress Pradesh Adhyaksh. This, 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 this is this is hotting up. This is hotting up. This is hotting up. This is hotting up. The one minute, one minute. Why won't you complain? Delhi Delhi did this scam. Let's keep it moving fast, ladies and gentlemen. Now, Ravan Khera is answering Ravan Sabarwal right now. Go ahead, Delhi. No, I think, I think Congress the party. answer of your question lies within the question. One minute, Nagar. Kar, kar, kar. Yield, yield to Nagar. Yield to Nagar. Nagar reply. Nagar reply. You are according to me. On 12th yes, March, according to me, our open and shut cases for calling for an ED to go ahead and arrest. Yield to Nalin. Mr. K. Nalin is making a point. Yield to him. Who stopped him from, from uh, uh, going ahead and cooperating with the election, uh, with the uh, enforcement directorate? Did Mr. K. Jriwal not have uh, faith in his arguments to say that the investigation is wrong? He ran away from the investigation. He ran away because he knew, perhaps, that the investigation was correct. That is why his colleagues were not getting uh, bail. Ramesh, so Mr. Kejriwal is responsible for his own life. I am not joining the investigation. But the timing, because he became a part of India Alliance. 
He became a part of India Alliance. That's where the whole government no, became, no, no. whole department This is, you know, larger than, uh, you issue. know, this is, you are a legend in your own mind. What your is party? the India Alliance? No, he was playing. What is okay, the India Alliance? Anmol is responding, right? Anmol, Anmol, Anmol. What is the India Alliance? India Alliance. Anmol, 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 ladies and gentlemen, Anmol. Can you call it an alliance? Alliance. Mr. Sabarwal, Mr. Sabarwal, Mr. Sabarwal, Mr. Sabarwal. Which alliance? In what form an alliance? Annie Raja is contesting against Rahul Gandhi in Vainad. What alliance? Where is the alliance Only in West Bengal? Are bhai, aap well, ele- there is no alliance. Mr. Mr. Just, we are all meeting over electoral a cup of tea. We call ourselves aapne? a grand alliance. There are no inquiries. If you have a guts, why won't? <coughs> Do the inquiry now, into now, the electoral now, 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 Anmol. Anmol, I'm Kohli, before I come Mr. to you. Kohli, I, before uh, I come Arnav, to you. Again, I have one question for Mr. Kohli. Okay, you want to respond to another? Go on. कोहली साहब लोग तरस गए जानने के लिए कि 60 करोड़ रुपए की रिश्वत क्यों ली आपने पी शरद रेड्डी से बता दीजिए ना आज देश जानना चाहता है 60 करोड़ रुपए की रिश्वत एलएस किंगपिन पी शरद रेड्डी आपको किसी ने रोका एक सेक्शन 200 का कंप्लेंट फाइल करने के लिए यहां बैठ के झूठ के ऊपर झूठ आप बोलोगे और फिर सोचो कि जवाब दे अरविंद केजरीवाल ने कौन से सवाल का जवाब दे दिया मुझे बताइए जिस आदमी ने बच्चों की झूठी कसम खाई वो बात कर रहा है सत्य की अरे मर जाएंगे लोग अपने बच्चों की झूठी कसम खाने से जवाब नहीं देंगे कमाल करते हो हर चीज अरे जवाब नहीं देंगे आप मुझे ये बताइए कि आपके नेता ने झूठ क्यों बोला है बकायदा हर बार आप जो है किसी एक आदमी का नाम उठा दो हेमंत मिश्र शर्मा पे आपने जब प्रश्न उठाए नहीं उठाए मैं डंके की चोट पे आपको जवाब देता हूँ एक मिनट हेमंत मिश्र शर्मा जी का खत्म हुआ केस दो हजार चौदह से बीजेपी में आए झूठे हैं आप लोग आप भी मनीष सिसोदिया के ऊपर में मानहानि का गुवाहाटी में और आप हेमंत जी के नाम से मुझे कोई हैरानी नहीं होगी अगर आप पर भी मानहानि का केस क्योंकि हेमंत जी डंके की चोट पर राजनीति करते हैं आप लोग झूठे हैं इसी का नाम उठा के कोई भी झूठ बोल रहे हैं कि अपने झूठे नेता को बचाने के लिए क्यों नहीं किया आपने � झूठ के ऊपर झूठ आप लोग आइए आइए दिल्ली के डेवलपमेंट मॉडल की बराबरी ना आप कर सकते हैं ना ओके ना आई हैव अरे दिल्ली के डेवलपमेंट मॉडल को बचे हम लोग सर सर वन मिनट ठीक नहीं कर पाए पानी तक ठीक नहीं कर दे क्योंकि आप लोगों को फुर्सत ही नहीं थी रिश्वत खाने से लगता है ऐसा देस नो स्टेट रूल बाय भारतीय जनता पार्टी वन डेवलपमेंट मॉडल ऑफ दिल्ली आप मुझे बताइए दिल्ली जल बोर्ड में स्कैम हेल्थ डिपार्टमेंट में स्कैम हर जगह तो स्कैम के बाद स्कैम अरे शराब तक अरे कमाल के लोग हैं आप लोग आपने शराब के ऊपर में स्कैम किया कुछ तो शर्म करिए आप 24/7 ही इस डेडिकेटेडली अरे लाइफ ऑफ पीपल ऑफ दिल्ली इस डेंजर बिकॉज़ ऑफ व्हाट यू हैव डन ओवर द लास्ट टाइम दिस इज़ द कैपिटल ऑफ इंडिया इट about about these letters uh you one minute about these letters let me tell you there is a big mystery it's like one of the sherlock holmes agatha christie kind of mysteries tonight how are they coming how is kejriwal writing yes, this letter how are they coming now now government files are not allowed in custody no stationery is, is allowed for those in custody he yes, is not aware if any written instructions have been passed through the legal counsel who kejriwal meets at 7 pm he is under cctv surveillance so no signatures have been made by kejriwal so is this a case of forgery or has the aap been lying about the letters of kejriwal maybe it is possible show me the signature it can't be ruled out arnab the nation wants to know the nation wants to know why did Mr. Kohli and his party take sixty crore rupees bribe from the alleged kingpin of the liquor scam. The data I have taken not a rupee. How dare you say that? Well, I, I am telling repeating. you on the show. Shut up! How dare you say Nalin Kohli has taken a bribe? I'll say you have taken a bribe. If you don't say that, he made a charge. He made a charge. How dare you say I have taken a bribe? He made a charge. And I challenge you. Three of them. And I challenge you, Mr. Kareem. He made the charge. He said you took a bribe. 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 He said
I have said why did BJP take 60 crore rupees from the LS kingpin of the liquor scam I am no, repeatedly asking this question say, otherwise say I have been repeatedly of my asking Nalin this Kohli's question and I apologize I for it close the chapter I, here Mr Kohli I am specifically asking time and again why did BJP take 60 crore from the LS kingpin of the liquor no, scam No you don't ask me specifically first you answer on what you said I, about I, me I, I, you said I, how I, is Nalin Kohli I, taken a bribe you come straight to that don't you discard from the issue like you been skirting Mr Kejriwal's issue how did you he said debate. You can take that back. Mr. He's taking Kohli, it back. He Mr. said it was Kohli. not to you. Now the other part is, the other part is, uh, okay. you see, shoot and scoot, hit and run is Again not good anyway. It. The AAP has It's had over. to retract no in court on many cases. So I will, I will, I will close it at this point. But I think there are some very serious issues which are emerging, and there is an ongoing public debate on whether Kejriwal should quit. I will leave it here only for tonight. Only for tonight. I thank everyone on that very hot debate. And viewers, when I come back. There's been a huge blowback to the attack on Kangana Ranaut by Congress spokesperson Supriya Srinate. The disgusting, sexist attack by Supriya Srinate has been condemned by all, but it seems that she is getting more and more support from her own party, which is surprising. We'll talk about that and the Sandesh Kali angle to the political contest in Bengal when I'm back. President Moji's uh, spoke about relations with India because of my visit recently and the fact that I was able to meet the Prime Minister, uh, uh, have a few words with the Prime Minister, that we won't have close relations with India. A number of resort business people uh, told me that they have met the President and they have asked the President to see that we go back to our friendship and. We have the relationship that we traditionally have with India. So, I given what's been happening between India and the Maldives, uh, what Mohammad Nasheed says uh, will be heard not just in Maldives but in India. It will have diplomatic repercussions, or I fear it may have already had repercussions. Am I am I right, Mr. Nasheed? What's been uh, well, the impact of your visit to India? Well, first, uh, thank you very much. Uh, I had a beautiful, lovely time in India. Uh, again, thank you for the invitation. Uh, a pleasure. I, I believe a few days back, our president, President Moyes, uh, spoke about relations with India, and yes. he indicated a, a correction in course uh, that the country is going towards. Yes, and this is very encouraging, and I think uh, it 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 has uh, ramifications, so that we can align our foreign policy to what it was before. Uh, I think uh, this has also this is in this course also because of my visit recently and the fact that I was able to meet the Prime Minister, uh, uh, have a few words with the Prime Minister. And also uh, the friendship that the Prime Minister showed to us, uh, yes. I believe that is a friendship that the Prime Minister has with the Maldives and the people of the Maldives. So it's very encouraging that we are going towards a course correction. Yeah, I, I want to ask you for uh, you know what the exact context of your conversation was uh, with our Prime Minister. But uh, I'm sure he certainly had a message for you. Do you think that message has also hit home in the Maldives? I think it has. As I mentioned, that our president uh, decided to speak about relations and to especially say that we won't have close relations with India. And it was unfortunate that as he came into government, uh, or that there was uh, some muddiness into our relationship. 
especially because दुनिया की सबसे पुरानी भाषा तमिल भाषा हिंदुस्तान की है मैं दुनिया को बताना चाहता हूं सबसे पुरानी भाषा का गर्व प्राप्त है वो मेरी तमिल भाषा है We need India. There's no doubt about that. For the first time, perhaps after he took office, that he's speaking. uh perhaps the right language in the context of india well uh, yes uh, uh, that also uh, i believe has relationship or links to uh, your invitation to me and that i was able to be there and i was able to be seen with the prime minister and now when uh, there is no military uh, footprint of india in the maldives today uh, do you think there is a sense of realization about the chinese tilt well there is a sense of realization in it. everyone would see that very clearly as well you see uh, uh, it was not a very uh, good move by the government to reach out to china especially for any really little or little military equipment uh, this same vessel was not allowed to come to sri lanka recently yes and and the fact that it was allowed to come to the maldives was wrong as politicians take a little while to come to our senses but we do come to our senses and we rapidly change course and the fact that i was able to meet the prime minister uh, uh, have a few words with the prime minister and also uh, the friendship that the prime minister showed to us uh, yes. i believe that is a friendship that the prime minister has with the maldives the indications that i am getting from home uh, are very clear that we are on course correction so ladies and gentlemen we have a very very special guest uh, with us today and uh, he's speaking to us uh, for the second time within a month and he's a very special guest his name is mohammad nasheed he's a former president of maldives he was in india he was at the republic summit and uh, he was one of our featured speakers and uh, him being at the republic summit was a big headline the fact that the prime minister who was also at the republic summit mentioned mohammad nasheed he spoke to mohammad nasheed after his speech at the republic summit and uh, given what's been happening between india and the maldives uh, what mohammad nasheed says uh, will be heard not just in maldives but in india it will have diplomatic repercussions or i fear it may have already had repercussions am i am i right mr nasheed what's been uh, well, the impact first, of your visit to india well first uh, thank you very much uh, i had a beautiful lovely time in india uh, again thank you for the invitation uh, a pleasure uh, i believe from the delhi studios of republic tv it's time for the debate Arnab Goswami on the debate at 10 powered by Reva University Quick Heal Secret Policy Bazaar co-powered by Dark Editions by Tata Motors Welcome back ladies and gentlemen it's time now for the nation's sharpest opinion Now the thing about sexism like corruption is that there are no grays You cannot come out with a haphazard excuse to defend a publicly made disgusting sexist remark about a woman and then slither away and endorse it through collective silence ladies and gentlemen that's exactly what the vadra congress and the vadra gandhi family seem to be doing for decades the congress party has tried to own the space of women in politics 
presented and positioned themselves politically as the owners and beacons of hope for women in Indian politics just because Indira Gandhi became Prime Minister and Sonia Gandhi became Congress President. So they said because people from the Vadra Gandhi family and women from the Vadra Gandhi family have reached certain positions because of their family name, women of India have become empowered. Ridiculous. Now that very party is essentially shrugging its shoulders. When its own spokesperson, Supriya Srinathi, has essentially said that Kangana Ranaut's Lok Sabha ticket is a byproduct of a prevailing rate card, the reference should be lost on no one, ladies and gentlemen. The disdain for an outsider who has earned a name for herself and is ready to slug it out in a political career from the ground is not something I expect Priyanka, Vadra and Rahul Gandhi to understand because Kangana neither has the luxury of being gifted constituencies as heirlooms nor is she handed the purse strings of a political party by way of following a certain bloodline. So irrespective of the political eventually, eventually what shines through today is the Congress-led endorsement of Supriya Srinathe's comment. Viewers, the most important thing is that the Congress party is endorsing the disgusting comment of Supriya Srinathe. Not one tweet, not one statement, not even a line. Ladies and gentlemen, the same silence that they had when Sanjay Nirupam attacks Smriti Irani. You almost begin to believe the Congress party is enjoying this disgusting sexist attack on women achievers from its political opponents. So I believe therefore that the lack of a response single-handedly tells you of the scale of indifference in the ivory towers of that one family of the Congress. The fancy dress competition and the occasional feel-gooder venting on women's issues at press conference that only a cabal of journalists are allowed into is what the Congress party has been reduced to. And my view, my view is that the Congress party has given Kangana a head start into her political career and the Monday campaign by endorsing this disgusting and filthy comment of Supriya Srinathe through its continued silence. That is my view. What's yours? Let's debate. A day after Congress resorted to raid card slur on Kangana Ranaut, the Grand Old Party went all out to promote Kangana's old video calling actor Urmila Matonkar a porn star. Supriya Srinath, on the other hand, was asked to lie low. Being taken against the person who hacked your account? I have written to the platforms and I don't answer arbitrary people. I don't know you, I have no idea who you are. But as a journalist, I'm only asking you that what took you so long to delete the comment? No, I didn't take any long at all. As soon as I saw it, I deleted it. For hours, the comment was, the statements was on social media handle. No, 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 no not at all. As Kangana transitions from real to real life Thalaivi, she was quick to silence the opposition. Kisi bhi mahila ko apmanit karna, uske, I mean, you know, sexualize karna, aur khas kar sabse zada jo mujhe dukh hua hai, wo jo mandi ji se chota kashi kaha jata hai. Pure vishwa mein chote kashi ke naam se prasidh hai, jahaan pe Rishi Parashar se lekir, Rishi Markandya ji ne tapasya ki hai. Uske baare mein itni bhaddi tipni, to hum sab mandi vasi jo hai, wo bohat hi kasht hume hua hai. The actor's family has questioned the ideology of Congress. कितना गंदा और कितनी गंदी इनकी विचारधारा है और कैसी वो लेडीज है जिसने की इतनी गंदी बात कह दी एक बेटी को जो कि अभी हमारी यहाँ मंडी हिमाचल प्रदेश की जो जितना भी जनता है वो बहुत इस बात से नाराज है और कभी भी ये ऐसी टिप्पणी तो किसी भी पार्टी को महिला के प्रति बिल्कुल भी नहीं करनी चाहिए Denying will not solve a problem. We have said uh, election commission because it is uh, now code of conduct. Uh, so election commission uh, is in charge of everything. We are requesting election commission to take action against both of them. While Congress top brass maintains a deafening silence, caught on back foot, several indie leaders towed the egalitarian line. मैंने कहा मना किया हिमाचल की बेटी है हिमाचल में उनके माता पिता रहते हैं उनके पिताजी जिला मंडी में उन्हें हमने कांग्रेस कमेटी का जनरल सेक्टरी बनाया था तो हिमाचल की बेटी है देखिए किसी भी किसी भी महिला के बारे में इस तरीके का कमेंट करना 
बहुत दुर्भाग्य काबिल इतराज आफ्टर इयर्स ऑफ वॉइसिंग वेमेन्स इश्यूज Why are Sonia and Priyanka Gandhi silent? Why the Congress High Command has not taken any action against its leader? Let's debate. So the Congress party has gone into a shell they're quite about it. Uh What do you think, uh, Sanju? Does this amount to an endorsement? Because they can also say that we are not endorsing it. Uh, Rashmi Samant is on the debate. Renu Mattal is on the debate. Bhavna Ramanna, who backs the Congress, actor and political analyst, is on the debate. My first question is to Sanju: Does this amount to an endorsement of the disgusting comment that Supriya Shrinathy made? You know, or not? Uh, I've been on a couple of debates post Supriya Shrinath's disgusting comment. and needless to add uh, you know uh, there's been no apology coming from uh, supriya's end or from the congress top brass uh, and for supriya to brazenly say that it was not she but somebody from a social media team who did the needful uh, i think that is as brazen as you can get and if you notice rahul gandhi who has an opinion on just about everything under the sun priyanka wadra who was screaming ladki hu lad sakti hu during the 2022 assembly polls during hathras you know she broke police barricades uh, to become the so called beacon of women empowerment i want to ask priyanka gandhi wadra i want to ask sonia gandhi i want to ask rahul gandhi who just finished a yatra saying main nafrat ke bazar mein mohabbat ki dukaan kholne aaya hu is this your version of mohabbat ki dukaan where you deride you demean you undermine the credibility of a self made woman called kangana runaut and that has been done by the chairperson of your social media team your national spokesperson supriya shrinath she said this not in her individual capacity she said this in her official capacity representing the congress and the congress party so clearly there is no apology forthcoming and as they say once is happen stands twice is coincidence third time is enemy action and for supriya shrinath the habitual repeat offender to blatantly lie i think that is as low as it can get in terms of public discourse especially one woman demeaning the other i think that is what and the most unfortunate part is i i i just like to uh, you know get in renu into this debate and i request all of us to hear each other uh, you know the the sense one is getting here renu is that the vadra gandhi believes that any woman who is not from the vadra family the vadra gandhi family can be sexualized any woman who is not from the vadra gandhi family can be sexualized objective uh, uh, you know uh, undermined uh, can be attacked personally that these disgusting comments can be made to any woman who is not from the gandhi vadra family they have set a clear line of separation here because if any comment were to be made and that shouldn't be made on any woman I from think, the gadra gandhi wadra family yeah. you know they would bring the house down so i think this is so unfortunate i think particularly Absolutely. this has happened after rahul gandhi kept saying a week or so back he said aishwarya rai nachte hue dikhenge in the context of pran pratishtha so aishwarya rai nachte hue dikhengi aapko ram mandir mein and then he says congress party shakti ki virodhi hai shakti ke khilaf hai shakti ko ladenge can i just say something and and k r ramesh kumar a congress leader said congress leader said the former speaker of the karnataka assembly said when rape is inevitable lie down and enjoy it i'm just exactly. saying these are words and we don't forget these words and no 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 should we we should not uh, we should not forget <coughs> words which hurt other people politics is now gone to an all time low i think that kangana ranaut is be well within her rights to contest from her home state or wherever it is she wants in the in the country uh, she wants to contest from mandi it was very clear from uh, for quite some time that that she would be brought in and that she would be a candidate and i think that she has every right to contest now that's one part of the story the second part of the story is this very unfortunate uh, controversy which has come up 
which uh, which revolves around this Congress spokesperson. Now she has made it very clear, and she has deleted that post. She has made it very clear that uh, she never did it. She is saying I would never make any comments against a woman. I think that we should take it, take her at her word. She has she has gone. She is saying I am going to find out who is the one who used my handle. There were some people, and I I would like to find out who has done this, and then we can you know take it forward from there. The point is that for every comment made. Good, bad. It's a very bad. Did you see the? Case. Did you see one because minute, one minute? Uh, Reno, Reno, whoever Reno, it, Reno, uh, Reno, whoever, Reno, yes. Reno, one, one minute, I'll, Reno, I'll just, I'll Reno. I, I, I think, I think in that news package we just he, ran. He allow me one minute. Out. I'm just intervening you. I'm just intervening right now to ask you a counter. Uh, yeah. In that news package we just ran, yeah. we saw a reporter Harsha ask a question to this Congress spokesperson, and let me tell you, Rashmi, if you heard it. There was not a single tone of apology. There was an act of brazenness. Who says it's a big deal? I hardly ran it. Who I says think, it was I there for a bigger, me, I think few, more than I, a few just, hours? Nothing happened. Just, the, there just, was a no big just, deal kind of attitude. Okay, I'm sorry. No. I'm sorry. No, 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 I think she's being protected here no, no, because. No, no, no. Okay, let me I ask have, you, Reno. Let me ask you, Reno. Let me ask you, Reno. One minute. One minute. One minute. One minute. One minute. One minute. I have Bhavna. I have Bhavna Ramana on the debate. Bhavna. Bhavna. One minute. One minute. Bhavna. Bhavna. Bhavna, can I can I finish I my you. point? Arnab, You've been now that you with the Congress me Party. Speak, I'd like uh, let let me ask point. Bhavna a question. No, 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 no. I, 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 I let me I'll, allow me to allow me to ask her a question. I'm coming back to you. Renu, so Renu, you'll never finish. I've got, you'll never finish, Renu. She was never forthcoming on. Yeah, I, one minute. Can I get her on the screen? I'm not cutting her out. One minute. Uh, who is? Who is? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it in Reno, good taste for a man Reno, to make a comment Reno, on a chief minister, Reno, a sitting Reno, elected chief Reno, minister? I am saying Reno, all such comments are in bad taste, including what Delhi. You are not mentioning him. I wish you would mention him also and what he has been talking about and what he has been saying. Politics has come down to an all-time low. You guys are well, making, okay. so, uh, you know, so I, I, I would, I would say BJP very clearly. One minute, one minute, one minute, one minute, one minute, one minute, one minute. Dilip Ghosh's comments are also bond. unfortunate. Now I'm, now I'm first. asking Bhavna. I am asking Bhavna one question. Yes, very unfortunate. Listen, listen, listen. It's who is, not who is, a fuss. Who is Mamta? Who yeah, is one Mamta minute. Can I now, Renu? I, Renu, I heard you. Now I can keep interrupting you. I can speak, keep speaking over you. I can, I can keep interrupting you. Let Sanju answer. That's okay. Let Sanju answer that. Thank you. Sanju, you Sanju, know, yes. Sanju, it has become your insult versus my insult. Yeah, exactly. So you that know, question no. is for you to defend. Dilip no, Ghosh's no. comments no, no, on Mamta Banerjee. No, I did not heckle Renu. Reno. What is this? Renu, did I even once interject you? Can I please finish? Then you can rebut me. Thank you. No, no. Yes. Please, yes, please, you are heckling. Please. Yes. Let's yes, not. Yes, the debate is not about you or me. Thank you. You know, Arnav. On one point, I agree with Renu for a change. I completely disown Dilip Ghosh's statement. I think what he said was absolutely unpardonable, was uncalled for. Or जो हिंदी में कहावत है ना उड़ता तीर अपने ऊपर ले लेना. But be that as it may, what actually completely uh, is uh, something that I'm flummoxed by is the fact that I, as the national spokesperson of BJP, have no qualms. Saying that yes, what Dilip Ghosh said was wrong. I've been on a zillion debates and I've said there is a 1100 page charge sheet against Brij Bhushan Sharan Singh, whose name inevitably crops up on these kind of debates. I've said if he's found guilty by the courts, let him be hanged by the noose. I'm willing to say what happened with Bilkis Bano was wrong. What I'm not able to understand, what I'm not able to fathom, what is absolutely inexplicable is the fact. That the cabal, which wants us to condemn Brij Bhushan, which wants us to condemn Dilip Ghosh, which wants us to condemn Hathras and Unnav, you are the same lot that does not condemn Sandesh Khali. You are the same lot that does not condemn Shah Jahan Sheikh. You are the same lot that does not condemn Digvijay Singh for calling Minakshi Natarajan Chand Panch Mal. You are the same lot that does not condemn Kamal Nath for calling a Dalit uh, woman Imarti Devi, a senior leader of BJP Madhya Pradesh, as Badhya Mal. So what I am against is, and what I am appalled by, is the hypocrisy from the other side. Why is today Sagarika Ghosh quiet at what Supriya Shrinath has done? 
Why is today Swati Chaturvedi quiet? Why is today a YouTuber called, uh, you know, uh, Rohini Singh uh, quiet? This is the same cabal which basically goes berserk and you know hyperventilates. जब BJP की तरफ से इतना भी कुछ हो जाता है. This is not about your abuse versus my abuse, your allegation versus versus my allegation. But this is the same Mamta Banerjee. Let's not forget what Dilip Ghosh said. I'm not. Uh, condoning it, but this is the same Mamta Banerjee who, after the Hamsa Khari gang rape of 2022, said about a 14-year-old young girl studying in class nine. Oh, was it a rape? Or was it a love affair gone wrong? Or was it that the girl was pregnant and hence she made this reckless allegation? After the CBI probe, now it is proven that yes, a TMC councillor's son was the key convict in the gang rape of a 14-year-old. Ma'am, now can, can we just come back to this? टॉपिक अनुपमेंगे and all through all through from mr rahul gandhi ms priyanka vadra ms sonia gandhi ma'am everyone why is it so and you are the first one who said congress mein congress ke andar election nahi hue election nahi hue election nahi hue now after the election it is mr mallikarjun kharge sir who was a national congress party president and if at all you are supposed to be asking any question it should be addressing to him not to any of these family people because they don't hold any such position to be answerable to you and your questions so basically because kangana ranaut said something about urmila matondkar that gives supriya shrine the license to abuse kangana ranaut really? is that what you are not justifying that i'm not even justifying no, that no i'm not justifying that he wants an apology has he asked an apology from supriya shrine has he asked an apology from the dilip ghosh is an actor she is an actor dilip ghosh do you have the guts to condemn supriya shrine who has actually proved her guts to condemn being an actor things to go out there abuse deride undermine insult humiliate every opponent oh, on the other side all you are writing all the you are writing all the who said ladki ho lad sakti ho where is the one i am not the one who is justifying but mr priya sunade she has already had lad sakti ho tante just come to the media and she has been beaten black and blue by priyanka badras संजू भावना एंड संजू वॉट इज अंट टू मी what is what is what is apparent to me what is apparent to me uh, can i just say one thing i think that the attack on kangana is deeply personal and allow exactly. me to complete my point here please ladies you see i i believe there is something unique about the attack on kangana the attack on kangana is not a normal attack the silence on the attack on kangana is also not normal i think the dislike <laughs> and the hatred towards kangana ranaut is very very strong and bhavna you need to understand this because you being an actor you should understand that if you have seen the career of kangana ranaut 
from the age of 17 for 20 years and the career she has made as a self-made woman having produced and directed some of the most remarkable films and you know you should know being from the uh, cinema fraternity that it is not easy to create cinema, produce no yeah well, I, well, I allow me allow me to complete i'm not drawing a comparison to you i'm not i don't know why you are getting irritated when i'm talking about kangana's achievements and no, what I'm saying is, what I'm saying to you is, what I'm saying to you is, so, 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 Bhavna, 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 you let me complete my point, you'll understand the entirety of my argument. What I'm, what I'm arguing here tonight, and I'm, I'm sure you can hear me and you want to listen to me on this point, and I'm, I'm making a point to you that somewhere I feel, please allow me, Bhavna, please allow me, Bhavna, let's take a moment, let's calm down. Let us understand that I have also observed the public response to Kangana from various individuals, whether politicians or others. I have observed it and one thing has come out to very, very clearly to me, that there is a deep dislike among very strong and powerful quarters towards Kangana Ranaut. You know, when her house was broken down and when the Shivasena put out in a headline saying, Ukhaar Diya, the entire Bollywood brigade was quiet. It was as if they were happy that Kangana Ranaut, through 20 years of trying to make something of herself and achieve something, produce and direct films like Mani Karnika, Ask which are remarkable, this because she does, does not follow a certain pseudo-secular line. Happening? Now see, you get stay, you know, the moment I start praising Kangana, <coughs> Renu starts getting irritated. Why should, why should people like Renu or Bhavna, accomplished women in their own right, get so angry when I praise Kangana, which means at some point of time, there is a deep personal dislike of Kangana. How dare she stand out? How dare she not want to get co-opted by us? How has she done better than all of us? How has she stood apart from the Bollywood Brigade and yet made a mark for herself? How dare she have a certain political life? How dare she have a career in politics? How dare she be an outspoken woman? Let's teach her a lesson. Let's how great she is, how noble she is, you how she has suffered. Others, oh my dear, oh my god. Friends. You are getting you irritated. Right? I'm saying, all I'm saying is Renu and Bhavna. Renu and Bhavna. Renu and Bhavna. Renu and Bhavna. You are running this program and that you are way you are doing Aarti to Kangana. What is this? Let's call let's call a spade a spade. Yeah, what, if you look at the look at the history of Kangana, he has bad mouth everybody in the industry. How many friends does she really have? Apart from some uh, uh, very important political people, what about the rest of them? She she takes on everybody, so it's okay. You're not friends with Karan Johar. You yeah, because you are not co-opted by Karan Johar, so you should be. How dare you not be friends with Karan Johar and yet be successful in life? No, 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 Karan Johar is Karan Johar. I mean, this is crazy. You you have to understand the country is changing. The world where she lives. No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying it's I'm okay. Saying, she has a right I'm to contest that. elections. So and you know what, Bhavna and Renu, Bhavna and Renu, Bhavna and Renu. I want you both. I want you both. Please, Bhavna and Renu, don't get so irritated. I because I'll continue to praise her for a bit because I'm enjoying to see your reaction. No, no, I'm enjoying your reaction. When I'm saying that Bhavna as an actor should realize the achievements of Kangana Ranaut. Yeah, I'm not doing it. I like people. Value, no, Renu, really, can you be quiet? You I like people generally. No, 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 one minute, one minute. One. I, I, I like people. I like people who come from come from nothing and make something anyone. remarkable of themselves through the hard work. I identify with such people. Yes, I appreciate yes, such has. people. Good for I think I think I I I did something to something something to really look up to. I'm sorry. A life but doesn't, that doesn't give you a license to say what is a red card. It doesn't go in one that doesn't exactly. give you the license to call a, a, a someone who carries a red card. That doesn't allow you to, to criticize the whole world for whatever. They, everybody is struggling. Everybody is trying to make a life for themselves. Is she the only one? Just because she is a great favorite of the BJP leadership, oh, okay. doesn't I'll let, I'll let Rashmi respond. I'm getting drawn into this 